What a great pleasure it is uh, for us to spend time with you today in the very first movie episode, technically. But the way that we've sort of put it together is that we're founding a new 80s movie franchise. Imagine that it has been discovered in a kind of capsule, which is something we were way into at that time. We really wanted to put things into capsules. It was yeah. very important to us <laughs> um, because we didn't know if we were going to be annihilated by a nuclear war. And so we thought it'd be cool to put some of our bad movies underground. Um, so that they, I don't know. It's, I'll tell you more about the 80s later. Um, <clears throat> the main thing that I want to get into uh, today with this gathered crew uh, is that we're going to be playing a role playing game called Tales from the Loop. It is, uh, the, let's see, the, the technical term that they have for it is role-playing in the 80s that never was. Um, so imagine your kids in danger type uh, films, your Goonies, your adventure films, your um, ensemble casts, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, potentially treasure. Um, but in any case, just mysteries uh, that are there for kids to solve because adults don't know anything at all. And uh, they cannot be, they cannot authentically be trusted unless you've written them down as your anchor on your character sheet. That's like the one person you can trust who's a grown up. Um, one of the interesting things about this game is that if your character turns 16, uh, they can no longer be player characters. Uh, did you guys read that? They're obliterated. Yeah. Yeah, well, they're not obliterated, <laughs> but they dissolve the yeah. sun. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's like it's like you know how it is. It's like they did all this awesome shit, and then it's like they got a job at their uncle's garage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, their yeah. life is boring from then on out. So there's it's no more. Noting. There's no more life. Nothing Early. notable ever happens to them Cancel. ever again. They get sent to a farm upstate. <laughs> oh, exactly, no. where they can run, yeah, run as much as they want. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, uh, That's what happens when you get old? Exactly. Yeah. Does, that, does that mean that when Alyssa in real life turns 16, she's unable to sit at the table? <gasps> That's high school. Yeah. So close, you guys. <laughs> you know We're not doing character voices yet. You can drop the accent. <laughs> exactly. It's, 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 it's a little much right now, actually. Hey, so uh, Tales from the Loop, I just want to make sure, especially because I know that we have some like hardcore like D&D pros, like spend a lot of time rolling dice. We have a range of player experience here, and so there's a couple things I want to emphasize. So in this game, uh, much like, I mean, because it's designed around films, we don't we don't play. Um, the time is not completely linear, right? We actually play scene by scene. So uh, you, as players, have just as much ability as I do to set a scene. So if you want to establish a scene, if you have an idea for what you think would be a cool interaction, or you want to investigate one of these mysteries, you can establish a scene just like the dungeon master can in this game, because we're really trying to tell a story. Like, I obviously know the mystery, right? But you get to discover it, and you get to discover it more or less in the way that you want, and then I just put out the crumb trail uh, for you to gather as you want. Um, one of the interesting things about it, obviously in future episodes we won't go, uh, I won't have this much detail about it, but one of the ways that the game starts is that it's like that typical um, montage sort of thing where basically we're going to go into each character. Each character gets to set a scene that is a scene from their normal life. And so, uh, especially in this first episode, this will be a chance for you to introduce a few things about your character. Um, anything that you think would be relevant or interesting, obviously, for the enthusiast at home. Uh, consider, certainly, uh, that who your anchor is. That's that... that person you can trust, uh, throw them in there, might be a good idea. Um, not necessary, but it can be paper route. I mean, it can be whatever you want, whatever you think is going to capture your character and give people a bit of that flavor. Um, beyond that, uh, we can just jump right in. Does anybody have an idea for their scene? And if they don't, obviously I can help too. I mean, I can, I'm here to facilitate as opposed to like be a competitor I would, uh, in a classic D&D scenario. I would certainly be breaking <clears throat> into something. Absolutely. Well, let's let's go into it. So, Betty Swalix, mm -hmm. uh, please tell the class uh, uh, some key information about your My character. name is, is Betty Swalix, and I am a foreign exchange student. Uh, who uh, And I, my, I am playing the class of Troublemaker. Oh, that's right. This game also has funny classes yeah. that are not Ranger or Wizard. 
Yeah. I am also a ranger and a wizard. No, that's not true. <laughs> and I... Uh, <laughs> And I've already started to cause trouble by giving myself too many points on my character sheet. Mm -hmm. So we had to make some last minute corrections. <laughs> I gave myself too much sneak, which I, I think was very appropriate. And he tried to sneak it in. So yeah. it's legit. It's legit. And uh, <clears throat> I am a company. I am 10 years old. Oh, no. I am very, very small. The youngest. Okay. Yes. And I'm small even for a 10 year old, but I'm very feisty. Mm -hmm. I'm extremely proud of my ability to steal things. And uh, on arriving here in this, uh, in this glorious, to me, the big city of Spokane, Of Spokane, Washington. Washington. Um, I was able, one of the first things I saw was a, a nearby farm where I stole a pig named Jeremy that I now take with me everywhere. Uh, it's, he's, he's pretty small right now, and I'm convinced that he will stay that way, and there will be no issue at all with me taking my pig back home when my foreign exchange student... No one, will, like, no one will recognize this missing mm -hmm. pig. No. <laughs> no. Well, no one. My, my, sus my suspicion is that we need to create a framework around this pig where it's a service pig. Yes. Did service pigs exist at the time? I don't think so. Perhaps no. Jeremy was the first. <laughs> Having lived there, Spokane was very forward-thinking. Yeah. Oh, boy. About things like mm. this. Yeah. So it's service a, pig, like obviously you would need it to find a truffle. He's my emotional comfort <laughs> pig, and um, he helps me with my dyslexia. Uh, and uh, and yes, I, I just I live at the moment with Alyssa's character since I'm a foreign exchange student. It's true, Alyssa. Oh no 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 no! You're not getting out of this without oh, a scene. Yeah. Yeah. Without a scene. Ooh. Without a scene. No no no! You gotta you have to establish a scene. This is your this is. In the movie, this is our first introduction to Betty Swallow. So, as, as they say on another uh, role-playing stream, this is D&D, motherfucker. Yeah, I am, uh, well, something like it. It's so I would be introduced attempting to sneak through an air vent in order to uh, flower bomb the jocks' locker rooms. Okay, so you're inside the school I with have, this pig? I have not checked whether or not this air vent goes anywhere near the, the jocks' locker rooms. I have just assumed that that is how it will work. Jeremy is keeping watch. Wait, at one end of the... Yeah, he's at one end of the air vent. Um, and yes, but I also did not check whether or not I was tall enough to get into the air vent. So I'm mostly, half of me is hanging out of it and I'm having trouble getting purchase in order to pull myself fully in. Were I to get into the air vent, I would very quickly discover that it's a, it's a dead end, it's all grated off, they don't want students jumping into the air vents. Okay, this is, this is, so this is where the camera, so obviously as our, as our scene begins, um, you have set this pig here to rest, much like the golden idol mm -hmm. in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. You have placed this watchful pig, mm -hmm. uh, and then as, as, you, as you enter in the... Uh, you can see that there is no finality, there is no uh, escape from this vent. And as it begins to distend, mm -hmm. uh, as you are crawling through it, as it is coming down over a packed gym, it is a sporting event. Yes. It is a basketball game. And as it begins to distend, people begin to shriek and the entire basketball game stops, and the ball just bounces out, and then rolls into one of the bathrooms. And then we see this scene, uh, only a few moments later, there are fire trucks, there are ambulances, there are police, there is a scaffold being built. Um, and then at the very end of this scene, we see a dirty-faced uh, Betty Swallux uh, rebirthed into the world uh, through this filthy pipe. Oh my yeah. god. <clears throat> and I say, Crikey! <laughs> right at the very end. Right at the very end. All right. Oh look, this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> That is our very first intro oh, scene. No. Now you can see why this is one of the greatest games of all time. Now, oh my God. who who is up next? And again, so these these initial 
uh, parts of the adventure, these vignettes, they can have roles, they can not have roles. For example, in this one, no role was required. Mm. It depends on what kind of stuff you're trying to get at in this character defining scene, right? So who who's who's voting for themselves on this next one? I yeah? Here. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, take it away. Um, so, <clears throat> so tell us who you are. Yeah. Uh, my name is Ginger, but people call me Snap. Um, I am 14. Um, That's... So that is so old. I remember, I'm, like, 14, you are fucking old. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm just, Grunt. and I'm just, I'm way taller. <clears throat> like, I'm lanky and oh, tall. No. So, I'm like so it's a like you stand bit, out everywhere. I stand out a little bit, and I'm Ugh. a little uncomfortable and awkward. But um, <clears throat> my anchor is the guitarist that's in my band, Harvey. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a drummer. How old is Harvey? Um, Harvey just graduated oh, high school, so he's eight. Oh, okay. So, he probably has a job in town. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then my uh, drive is to be like my brother, Frankie, who died last year. Um, in, under what circumstances, if you don't mind my asking? No, it's okay. No, of course not. Uh, he died um, in the Army. So he, he joined oh, the Army military. and he died mm -hmm, in the military. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I wear his jacket um, every day. <laughs> like a military jacket? A military jacket. Shit, yes. Um, and... And that military jacket is over a metal shirt. Yes, over a metal shirt. And she, yeah, she's got like tight black pants on, big boots. Yeah. Big ass boots. Big boots. Eyeliner. <clears throat> it, it's, it's a very nice. Now, so <laughs> so I'm so here. hook me up. Give me a day in the life of, of Ginger Snap. Yeah. So I would I would like to start with her morning um, routine. Um, her family sort of fell apart after her brother died. So that he was sort of the he was like the anchor for the family. He was the anchor for the family, and when he passed away, uh, it kind of fell apart. My dad um, uh, picked up the bottle, and my mom um, left us. So. Um, I am fixing breakfast for my dad, who's passed out on the couch. Yeah. Um, first day of school back from when my friend Harvey graduated. So back, first day back in school knowing that my friend's not there. My right, so the, the camera sort of like the front door is like open a crack, the camera's coming in. Yeah. It lingers for a moment uh, on your dad's arm. You've maybe placed a blanket over him on the yeah. couch. You can see that hand sort of like draped over the edge. Um, it's grip loosening uh, on a bottle uh, that is not quite empty. Right. And we can hear the sounds of cooking from the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. And I'm talking on the phone with Harvey. Wait, you got, you got the crook? I got the crook. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> uh, talk, man, it's going to be so hard <coughs> being back at school without you. I don't know. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do. This is. You got to live. Hard. You got to work for that weekend, kid. We we still got practice. Yeah. Where it's, I'm not right. I'm not moving to the moon. I know, but I need you there. I, I know. Listen. I, as long as it's not during the day, when I'm working at my uncle's garage, you can give me a call anytime, and I'll pick up. All right, man. That helps a lot. Yeah. All right. Hey, are you are you in for practice on Saturday? Yeah, you know I am. I'm always there. All right. Did you fix that e-string? I yeah, I'm working on it. I mean, I haven't fixed it yet. Okay. I'm working on it. Well, you need all the strings on the guitar. If you're going to be a guitarist, you have to have all the strings. <laughs> right. I, That's part I'm, of the deal. I'm aware. Okay. <coughs> I know, Harvey. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll see you this weekend, man. All right. See you later. All right. Bye. <clears throat> all right. Who wants it next? I'll go. Pass me the rock. Okay. So I too am fourteen. Oh god, so old. Such yeah. an old group. Yeah, it's an old group. Um, what about your character? <laughs> oh my god. God. I said some of this. <laughs> some of this sass Ooh. mouth. Um, uh, my name's Mick. Uh, it's short for Michelle. Oh, um, yeah. But I am not into that. I am the weirdo of the group. Um, and uh, so how so I So weirdo is a class in this game. So tell us what makes you a weirdo in like in the context of this like middle America town. Spokane, Washington, that for some reason is under the impression it is a city. Okay. It has been lied to at some point as a youth, <laughs> and now it thinks that it's a real town that, that oh. people live in. It's almost a real city. Yeah. Oh, I know that. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I am a, I am a spunky, short, um, short-haired, pale girl wearing um, ripped jeans uh, and oversized plaid button-up, a field jacket stolen from the set of Apocalypse Now. God bless. Um, 
and uh, a high top Converse. Oh, um, the high top tennies yeah. gotta break them in. Yeah, um, <clears throat> and I'm wearing fingerless gloves as well. Oh, um, yeah, I do wear eyeliner, but not too much. It, I just like put a little bit. I dabble. I dabble in the liner. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I would say that um, I. There's like, so can I go straight into my scene? Fuck yeah. Um, so there is like this droning voice in the background and I'm like snoozing and suddenly the bell rings and I am startled. I'm jolted awake. And uh, What's in class? It's in, we're in class. It's six period and it's I'm in AP pre-calc and I've just slept through the entire thing. <laughs> um, and there, uh, there is a set of symbols like the first thing that greets you is like a set of symbols that looks like some kind of alien diagram <laughs> on the board. It's like blurry, <laughs> comes into yeah, focus. Exactly. Uh, and the the droning voice, it's sort of like a um, it starts out almost like a peanut style Ooh. trombone, wow. and then it slowly becomes into it slowly turns into uh, a human language that can be understood. Uh, and the voice, the, there's like a tap uh, of the pointer on the board. Uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Chase says, Michelle, I'm sure you can explain this for us. You've paid such good attention. Uh, indeed, all semester, you've really absorbed a lot. And I know that, I mean, I'm hoping that maybe you can teach some kids over the summer uh, when I'm on vacation. There's not being sarcastic. From around the class. Yes, sir. I uh, I intend to start my own school. I'm opening it up, in fact, uh, in July. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of business to drum up in here. I'm sure they'd love to hear what you have to say. Now, do you want to try to do it? Do you want to try to parse this? Yes, All right, here. So let's let's grab a handful of dice. Okay. Uh, yes, what, yes, yes. T- let's tell me about your skills. 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 Um, okay, so do you want me to just go through what I have? Yeah, yeah, exactly. In? So tell me, to this to my mind, this is the sort of thing that would happen uh, via a comprehend uh, or calculate. <laughs> Looks like Mick has a one for <laughs> <laughs> which is actually better than like a kid. It's better than zero. Yeah. Yeah. I have a zero. So, yeah. zero. so I'll do comprehend. <clears throat> comprehend. All right, yeah. right. So grab as many dice as you have. Okay, so would that be under? Would that just be the one? Exactly. Or is it, so, do you get one for your attributes? Yeah, exactly. Yes. So uh, comprehend in this game is a mind, mind skill. Ah, yeah. So you grab your mind dice, grab your comprehend dice, yeah. toss them into the box, and so your, your mind is currently what skill? Uh, my mind is four. And your comprehend is one. Mm-hmm. So five. Okay. 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 Yeah. So you so you turn your attention <laughs> to this Martian maze of symbols. <laughs> There go. Oh. Now, in this oh, game, in this game, any six is a success, and any one through five is a not success. Oh, that's brutal. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, this is awkward. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> we could, you know, you are fourteen. Uh, there is a thing called luck. There is a little thing called luck. Um, that is. Uh, Equivalent to uh, 15 minus your age. Right. So because you are not yet uh, an old, <laughs> uh, and then the younger you are, the luckier you are. So oh, you no. get more opportunities to reroll Animal. dice. Now, you might want to save that luck point because you only get that much for the entire game. Oh. Right? Okay. Yeah, I think I'll save it. And that allows, <laughs> you, that allows you to reroll a dice. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it allows you to reroll um, failed dice. I'm proud. I'm not that proud. <laughs> you're here. So, so, but please tell me what you God. attempt to assess. Okay. Um, instead, uh, I would. I look at it, and I know I'm not going to get it. So I instead write like a completely different equation on the board to look smart, but I'm going to take forever to write it. Like a solid three minutes up there at the board, just writing. <laughs> As you were, <laughs> yeah, exactly. As oh. you're, as you're about eighty uh, percent through this magnum opus, um, you hear this a teeny digital bell um, uh, of Salk Middle School um, ring out, and uh, Mr. Chase says, "Thank heavens for small mercies." <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? 
Who wants the rock? I got something. Get it. <clears throat> so, um, my character is Kimberly. Uh, she is the popular you, kid. I, think the, I feel like you said Kimberly in the right way. I did. <laughs> you can only say Kimberly like that. <laughs> it has the lil. Her, she actually, her middle name is Nicole, so altogether it's Kimberly Nicole. Oh, no. uh, rest assured, if she was around in the age yeah. of Facebook, she would just have Kimberly Nicole as her name. She's mm-hmm. that kind of person. Um, she's the popular kid. She Her drive is to make it big somehow. Um, her anchor is a famous uh, family friend who's like a Kenny Loggins style uh, singer. Saxophonist. Named, uh, actually, ch- his name's Chance. Lucky, so whatever you want to do with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> makes I love sense. it. Uh, probably. But, but this, yeah. is, this is a musician. A musician, yes. Okay. Uh, Touring musician. Yeah, family in friend. Soundtracks. Yeah, that type of stuff. yeah, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, definitely has has slipped me a few cool uh, singles from his label before, uh, which is why her favorite song is "Heaven in the Place on Earth." Is a place on Earth, which is why because that came out a little later. Than oh no, 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 the back going to say, "Well, listen, I got this. I got this." Uh, I got this track from Brenda Carlo. Uh, no, 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 just Bre- <laughs> just Brenda. Just Brenda. Oh, just Brenda. Yes. I got this track from Brenda. I think you're really gonna enjoy. And I, it's I, sent like, it, I sent it in the mail. It's my anthem. Mm-hmm. Um, so my uh, my pride is that I am very skilled in manipulation. I am a theater kid. Oh, manipulating so, others. Yes. Not uh, not machines. Not machines. No, no, no. Um, so yes, I am. I am a theater kid, and my parents are absentee for the most part, wealthy, and provide me with material goods in exchange for actual uh, interaction. Indeed. How um, old? I am 14. Exceed. So, I just turned 14. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 14, like newly 14. Yeah. So who is, so are they in and out of the house, or do they, are, they, are they just like checked out? So they're in and out of the house. They're both <clears throat> expensive people, and they have expensive tastes, and I'm not sure uh, they ever wanted to have a kid, but then they did, and they thought, "Oh, this could be fun." But then, mm. but, then but then she turned fourteen. Oh yeah, then she and, turned fourteen and had her own ideas about things, right? Yeah. Uh, then she figured, you know what? They haven't slept in the same bedroom. They haven't been in the same place in a really long time. I don't even know. Um, so they're constantly on business oh, trips amb- it's everywhere. Ambiguous. It's ambiguous. I don't really, I don't really know. I don't think they care. Um, I just turned fourteen. My birthday was yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, I received these really cool earrings that are my. Uh, iconic item. They're these little extra gold stars, and I wear them because I'm going to be a star one day. Exactly. Um, it's, just, it's like, um, just put it out there in the universe. Yeah, you know, you know, you know? just put that energy out, <laughs> and then it'll come back. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so basically it's, you know, my mom was there, my dad wasn't. He sent me the earrings. I figured, why not? Um, and so uh, my morning is me putting on the uh, record of um, a chorus line and setting it specifically to one, which is my current <laughs> obsession, uh, because I want to memorize it and uh, oh, make it my entire. So Heaven is a Place on Earth is my favorite song, yeah, exactly. but one from a chorus line is like my thing right now. Well, basically, I mean, in your mind. It's about me. Well, it's about you, but it's also something that might be leveraged maybe in an audition. Absolutely. Right. I mean, it's, it is an ensemble piece. <clears throat> right, right. Uh, but I don't really want to sing Dance 10 Looks 3. That's kind of a different um, situation. Uh, so yeah, so basically my scene is me uh, setting the needle on the record and regarding myself in the mirror and getting my shit together. Um, as the uh, song continues, it is like a montage of me uh, putting on my various accoutrements um, and gathering my books, which of course I carry in my arm. I don't have a backpack. That's, no, that's gauche. Uh, and I get a ride to work with my mom who's on her way to the airport. Uh, and we sit silently in a cab while I'm sitting there just feeling this about myself and Putting on, I, I go from being a fourteen-year-old girl to being a fourteen-year-old girl, <laughs> uh, and as I exit the cab at my at my high school, or sorry, my school. I don't know. Are we in middle school right now? This is middle school. Sorry. So at my middle school, uh, which I will soon be far <laughs> above, uh, you see me literally walking to the beat, uh, and then I reach. Oh, oh, the music is actually the music is the continuing scene. in my head. It's, yes, exactly. And so that's sure. the point. So we're at this point where it's like. Uh, yeah, it's it's reaching its its crescendo, and as it ends on "She's the One," uh, you see me, you know, walking and everyone it, observing how wonderful it is that I have arrived. Or also, just oh my god, that bitch is here! <coughs> I open up the door to my locker, and there is a note inside my locker that says something. I just immediately crumple up, and I put away. Okay, so with the others, so. After this game, you let me know what that said. Yes. And then I can work it in. Because I know that your problem yes. is that something may be revealed about you. Yes. Someone some has point. been has been sending me messages mm-hmm. and maybe following Implying me. Implying 
that they know what a I have. Certain knowledge. What I have, yes. They know what you did last summer. <gasps> Actually, literally, yes. See? See? I, I'm not a I'm not a um and that amateur. Is murder. <laughs> yeah. I killed someone <laughs> at age thirteen. So, I murdered a man. Yeah, yeah, but as soon as you turn fourteen, it's all forgiven. That's what exactly. I heard. Um, exactly. I was sixteen. <laughs> all right. Statue of limitation here, 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 no, Temo. Uh, so montage uh Temo is the Hick archetype. Um, but slightly uh, variation on that as a migrant worker. So I'm in my montage starts with uh, midday uh, working in the fields, um, uh, tinkering with irrigation equipment. Oh, um, oh, that's right. Because his, your, your main item is a wrench, right? Uh, my main ra- item. Uh, everyone has an iconic item. Mine's not a pig. Um, <laughs> it's something useful. Um, <laughs> oh, <Wow. laughs> love shot fire. <laughs> Uh, mine is a well-worn hand wrench um, <clears throat> that is used uh, to help with my abilities for tinkering and uh, calculating under the tech attribute. Um, uh, so it's just a montage of you know physical labor uh, in the heat, <laughs> not in school, which is uh, an aspect of my uh, backstory, um, <clears throat> but. Uh, that's pretty much all I got uh, in terms of the montage. Exactly. So, but that's that's plenty. So uh-huh. you're saying so, but he um, he does go to school, not in this montage. Not in this montage. Uh, he is from out of state, um, working with his father in the fields during the season <clears throat> to send um, the money to send the money back home. Uh, his mother um, passed. Uh, a couple years back, so that's why he has had to grow up fast to help his father support his four younger siblings. Right. Um, so uh, that's why he is um, a migrant worker with his father. Exactly. So uh, <clears throat> in this uh, in this uh, context, and your father was injured. Yes, which uh, has which has created the problem. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you can tell. Um, you can tell that his leg hurts. Mm-hmm. Like it is, it is um, held together in this cast uh, piece of a piece of uh, farming machinery. Uh, got loose in the orchard, rolled over mm-hmm. the ankle. Um, may or not may may or may not have been a, a cons- conspicuous accident. Who knows? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but this this injury is is killing him. Um, and you can tell that as as happy as happy as he is that you have stepped up, mm-hmm. he he sees a different he sees a different life for you. He doesn't necessarily want you to inherit that, mm-hmm. um, uh, which is why he has suggested that you talk to a uh, Mr. Miller um, at Salt Middle School because. Um, he thinks he he appreciates the wrench. He uh, respects it, but he thinks that you have a mind that could really accomplish something in the modern world. He thinks that you could ply that trade, um, and Mr. Miller is going to give you access to the AV club uh, and the A. Ha! And so, <laughs> uh, and as you go, as you, uh, it's, it's always strange going to a new place. You know, a lot of these people already know each other uh, from going to school. Um, and this is just part of their day, but the mm-hmm. AV club happens after school. And um, even if you are not a student, mm-hmm. uh, even homeschooled kids, which is pretty common in Spokane, mm-hmm. even homeschooled kids can get access to this via some public funding. Um, Mr. Miller seems uh, perfectly nice. He occasionally tries um, to speak Spanish words. <laughs> um, it's not great. It's not great. But it's appreciated. No, exactly. He's, he's putting it out he's there. He's trying his best. He's putting it out there. It's right. no buenos. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. No, bueno is plural. Buenos. It's like, is that good? Is it better? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but uh, the AV club, uh, is a place that has um, attracted all of you. Uh, there is something here, either recording equipment, um, 
access to potential contacts um, in uh, in the media industry, um, uh, a place that you have to go, Betty, uh, because Mick is going, and the parents don't want to deal with you at home. Um, and uh, it's getting course, a little bit uh, too real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, and of course, for uh, Timo, you are uh, you are there because you're taking advantage of this extra part. Um, and Mr. Miller has actually uh, he is assigning the club a very very special task, and that task is so, so Spokane. As I said, Spokane is a place that has a concept of itself uh, that is unique and novel and maybe not 100% correlated with the facts. It is highly, deeply, profoundly provincial and yet it, it, it has dreams about itself. It has aspirations. And uh, they may not be entirely wrong. So the, uh, the Circumference Corporation Something like we would think of as a uh, Amazon, one of these uh, massive company that has just tendrils in everything. Um, Spokane was chosen, much as it was chosen for the World's Fair um, in the 70s. Wow. Um, really? <clears throat> yeah. Um, <laughs> you're from Spokane. Why? <laughs> uh, uh, it was chosen uh, to be the site. Uh, possibly because of very reasonable land use expenses um, of a particle accelerator, colloquially called the loop. Um, and so it has, uh, it has uh, obviously you have seen the trucks uh, and some, some of the equipment that they have for installing and manifesting this is very strange. Um, not wheeled, so a lot of the uh, vehicles that they use to carry uh, the large rods and even do um, some of the major digging for it, uh, they levitate flatly off of the ground. They have a series of disks beneath them that repel themselves against the Earth's own magnetic field. Um, but it's a combination of vehicles, traditional vehicles, traditional labor, um, and some strange things that would not be out of place in a science fiction novel. So for us as kids, what is, are any of these things um, surprising? Or are these yes. very common? No, these, okay. these, these, these disk drive, I mean you have heard about these and you've heard about them um, typically speaking, uh, like you know that they happen in, in Germany. You know that there oh, are okay. some advanced farms that do leverage because they don't touch the ground at all. Um, there, are, uh, there are these, uh, they call them magnetrine drives. Uh, there are devices like this that uh, that work in agriculture as well. Um, so, like I say, most of it is not like that, but there's definitely an incursion of the future happening in this place. And uh, so, uh, one day, uh, right about at the end of AV Club, he's gone around. He's helped everybody with their individual projects, and he says, "All right, now I have." A job for you. It is very important. Muy importante. <laughs> What's the pay? <clears throat> the pay is that you get to be in a place where the future happens, Betty. That's the pay. Experience. Is there room for negotiation? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the AV Club will benefit better equipment for everybody it's not a non you know it's a non zero factor bit listen we have been selected our school salk middle school has been selected to make a small documentary yes yes a small documentary hold your horses mick a small documentary about the loop activation. Now, of course, no one is going to school tomorrow. School, all kids, every school in town is going to be bussing kids out to see the coolant towers activate, to see the future happen here in Spokane, Washington. 
And I want us to be the ones whose documentary about this moment goes in the time capsule. I won't let you that's, do that. That's what's on the st- that's that's what's on that's what's on the board here. And then he lifts a piece of paper up over uh, over a stand, and it says "time capsule" it's right here. It's a destiny. We all have this destiny. I raise Am I the my only hands. person excited about this? Time capsule, the future. Everybody with me? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this going to require an on-camera host position similar to news media or...? I do not want to tell you how to do it. What is the resale value of the relevant equipment? Asking for a friend. It all has serial numbers and our school on the side. Where are you even going to fence this? I don't... What what fence? Oh my god. Doesn't even matter. I don't know. I'm just asking for, as I said, for... A friend, which you know I what, have Oliver many. Twist, just like stop. That's hateful. <laughs> Shut it. That's actually very hateful. <laughs> the only, the only, so I'm going to drive everyone in the AV Club van out to the launch. Is everybody okay for tomorrow? You won't need to take the bus. I mean, I can take the team. Acceptable? Yeah. Is anybody having have anything going? Yes. Do we Next. have uh, a camera better than my Super 8? I'm going to pull out a camera. We are a public school, Nick. <laughs> so if I wanted to, I could use my own. You're actually going to have to do. It. <laughs> that's, that's the other part. I, that's the other part I didn't tell you. <laughs> do we have so, Do we have access to a special effects budget? <clears throat> How do we do audio? It's just, super eights don't have sound. Nick, do they have sound? I don't remember. Um, Doesn't matter. It's techie stuff. Don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's cool. I love the premise more. Sound. Thanks. <laughs> He's like, well, we we have we can do the sound part. You're gonna need somebody to carry it, hold it. It has the thing. Don't put it in the shot. Hold the microphone. Is anyone here into like audio stuff? I can do it. Yeah. Do you have a recorder? Yeah, we have we have the audio part. You guys, we can make this happen. We're gonna make the best documentary of this century. Right. Yes. A 12 year old. Arlene Beck is gonna make the best documentary. <laughs> Great. Tamo raises his hand in the back. What's a documentary? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that's the end of that scene. <laughs> Dude, that is fucking Kiko. That's exactly why I want you here. That is the best. Okay, some. Uh, uh, music. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. What is documentary? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we go right from that scene right into the van. Um, there is uh, Simon and Garfunkel playing uh, on a cassette inside the. <laughs> Mr. Miller is doing oh, it this way. Is this yes. such is a this acceptable? This is Holy acceptable. shit! <laughs> Here, do you want to do you, you want to sit in the passenger seat? Yeah, I'll sit in the passenger seat. All right. Yes. So you can so you can hear him. You can hear Mr. Miller sort of humming along with um, I Am A Rock. <laughs> it's like he's still got it. He's still, you know, he's still young yeah. somewhere in there. <laughs> Every time the, the words I Am A Rock appear, Betty sings that line and no others, but very loudly. Is there, is there a... <laughs> yes. I Am A Rock! <laughs> That's it. Is there a weird scent in, sort of embedded in the... F- in the seats, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the seats, the seats are okay. okay. But you think that the the right, the morally correct position would be to tear all of this rug out of this van oh, and yeah. burn it. Have I been permitted to bring my cultural integration pig? <clears throat> yes, yes, uh, in a bag, and no one knows it's there. Excellent. So, a pig and a blanket. Uh, exactly. So, so, so as you're so as you're as you're rolling up, um, you can see. Uh, buses from all around town, rival schools, uh, schools from some of the uh, perhaps more well-to-do uh, out in the out in the south, out in the valley. There's some nicer stuff. Of course, the loop wasn't placed out in the valley; it was placed in the North Spokane. So, something to, is there? You know, is there something to say about that? Maybe, right? Uh, the loop itself runs very close um, to Mead High. 
Um, and indeed, the cooling tanks, uh, these massive towers with a uh, almost a glowing blue V that sort of comes around the front and then cuts down. And there's a, uh, uh, a sort of turquoise orb in the center of it. Mm -hmm. These are the tanks that um, maintain the temperature uh, of the loop so that it can provide the future um, to wee lowly citizens. Um, so uh, cars are all parking out close. Um, basically the entire uh, parking lot of the high school is taken up almost exclusively by buses. But Mr. Miller has access to the press space, um, which is out uh, perhaps a, a solid mile. You drive right past all these piles of buses. And uh, so you, you're getting a clean shot. Mm -hmm. um, out you drive, <clears throat> you drive past the uh, track, past the bleachers. You're able to get around uh, so that you have a clean vision of that. Uh, of these towers, um, and then uh, it's basically it's you know t minus ten minutes. Uh, how are you getting everything set up so that you can capture this correctly? Well, I'm in a well-appointed jumpsuit, a la April O'Neil, and <laughs> uh, definitely have enormous shades on, which I then remove to examine, <laughs> and then I start framing the shot like some dipshit, um, <laughs> and then I just sort of toss my hair around and I look at Mick and I'm like, so. I should be framed like it's a halo. The big thing. It would just, I think it would look great. I've got this dark hair. Blue is going to look great against it. And you can just tell me what to say. That sounds perfect. I, I look through my, my camera and, and I'm like, you're already looking fantastic. You, you, you look wonderful. Yeah. We're really going to just bring out the color in your eyes. And then uh, as I'm doing that, I'm moving the camera so that <laughs> the halo's like, or the, the, the loop's off to the side. It's like up like this, like Robert. this is the frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I'm it's just, just like, the corner of the glasses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm just like, that's okay. And I just keep like stepping back, just to be like, are you sure? If, are you sure you've got? Oh all yeah, of are you yeah. Sure. Best, best, best shot. This is this is perfect. So then I'm just very small. I yeah. end up very small in the shot, which is also fine. <clears throat> um, by the way, I'm holding a microphone which is tethered to Ginger. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you're just gonna follow her around. Yeah. 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 I I'm just like it's I fine. Yeah. I would like to be in charge of Kimberly's hair and makeup. Thanks, I've got it. I have often cut my own hair. Thank you. And as such, I will consider myself extremely well suited to this task. Teacher, tell her. Listen, a little bit. Why don't you uh, guard the perimeter and use your war pig that you have stashed in there to, I don't know, keep away the rabble. That's a, a hateful accusation. I don't appreciate this. Betty, that's actually a great idea. We could use you to fend off anyone who tries to get into our shot. Nick, no pigs in this shot. No pigs, no shot. Pig free. Got it. I will tell the local constabulary that they are not to be in this shot. I think it lends it an agrarian aspect, <laughs> but, you know, that's fine. Uh, Tamil uh, yeah. sees all this playing out, um, but is keeping a, a close eye because he knows something out of the corner of his eye on your eight mil on your camera that the there's a the the case that holds the film isn't quite uh, sitting, clipped in clipped in perfectly. <clears throat> um, and uh, of anything you learn from AV school is that if that film gets exposed, uh, this will be an entire waste of time. <laughs> uh, so he. Do you want to? You want to try to look at it? Uh, well, first he sort of uh, motions uh, to Mick um, and and points to the the uh, case to the to the case, and uh, I want to try and see if I can get it re uh, repaired. So do you do just gesture? Like do you just point and gesture? Uh, yeah, and verbalize. It looks a little <laughs> uh, open here. <laughs> okay. this is, now, is this Super and, 8 camera your yeah. iconic item? It is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you... Do you want other people to touch yeah. it? I mean, this is this is my baby, so, mm -hmm. so I... You, you I, tell me how this plays yeah. out. Um, I, I look at you and I look down at my camera, and, and I, I say to you, what's up? What's wrong with you? <laughs> this is, the lid isn't sitting closed. Um, the film might get exposed. All right, and how should I trust you <laughs> with this amazing piece of equipment? 
I, <laughs> it's, I see something that is wrong and needs to be fixed. So I, I, I'm very, it's, I, I have to fix this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's this piece of, <laughs> this mechanical <laughs> device. Uh, but, you know, if, if the film does get exposed, then we're, we don't have a documentary, whatever that is. <laughs> Okay, so I'm obviously um, a little antsy about this, and I say, all right, he's our tech guy. Listen up. No one touches this camera but him. If I see you touching this camera, you're off the shoot. I can't touch the camera if I want to be on camera. I never would. Jeez. So, so, uh, so, Uh, Tomo, do you want to... Do you want to try to tune it up, like because um, you, you know about the obvious thing, but there like might be something else. The obvious else. thing might be there, but I'll I'll try before I roll. I mean, just do something simply as put a little pressure on it, just mm-hmm. make sure if it, if it closed, because if the catch is not is not catching the lid correctly, it might just need a little extra pressure for yeah. now, because I don't want to destroy this camera um, at the beginning of the scene. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, here, <laughs> um, definitely take a look at that, but okay. but. It, from from the interaction that you have already had, mm-hmm. I suspect that's rarely going to be enough for Temo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so should uh, I produce a roll? Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, what I would do in this case, this is a this would be calculate tech. Okay. So uh, I got a tech of three mm-hmm. and a calculate of one. If you destroy the camera, we can all go home. Yeah, exactly. It's like a huge time saver. Yeah. That's, a, that's an excellent point. Uh, I think you should consider that. <laughs> all right, so that's terrible. Um, is that all the dice? That is all the dice. Not a single six. Well, hang on a second. So you have tech three. Tech three and calculate one. Oh, it's four. Okay. Here. Now, there is luck. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Being 14, I have one. Is now the time you to t- use my <coughs> luck. You tell me, dude. You tell me. Roll a single die and hope that it's a six. No, I, I would say no. <laughs> I would probably save that. Yeah, okay. It's not good. <laughs> oh, okay, so. this, this is going to be so awesome. <laughs> okay, but you have snapped the outside of it shut. Okay. And it looks, it looks good. Okay. It's just a little sandwich of technology there. Mm-hmm. He hands it back to you. Um, nothing's coming out of it. <laughs> uh, this is a great thing. <clears throat> and so, um, before, before you hear it, you feel it. Um, so while the, the activation, you have the time, but a full 30 or 40 seconds before, your immaculately quaffed um, presentation, so right on the camera, right on the film, her hair configuration begins to dismantle <laughs> itself. <laughs> but it's held with different kinds of product. So it's basically it looks like it oh. looks like something it looks like um, a sculpture. It has come alive. Of some kind. Like it's all the layers are moving flat oh. and separate and twisting oh. uh, right on the shot. <clears throat> Is and this, I'm in the middle of vocal warm-up, so I'm like, tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> is this because of wind, or what? You, you don't know. Okay. This is just a, you can feel, even in your feet, Okay. A, you know, not a, quite a full minute before uh, when the device is supposed to activate. Um, but you can hear, um, like, shouts of excitement and cheering already this... Something is spinning. Energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, already mm-hmm. the... Energy below has a echo in the energy of every student in uh, in Spokane, Washington. Um, they've begun to fill up the uh, the bleachers, so they're there to watch these towers come up. And so you can see uh, it almost almost like a a heart monitor. You can see this the blue light flash through the V, um, and then as it, as it does it a couple more times. And then, as they, um, as the light comes up, it fills in from the bottom, and that orb eye flashes. And then, as that happens, uh, you feel like the you feel like the leveled up extreme version of that vibration and that 
energy. It's indistinguishable from excitement. Like whatever it is, the skin response, it is incredibly exciting. <clears throat> and as that flash happens, you see what looks like on the camera, because you're watching through this, so your, uh, your absorption of all this information is all mediated through this lens, and you see this white streak right between the three towers. You see this white streak, as soon as they're activated, come from the sky and strike right in the center of these three towers. So I know that my plan had been to, you know, provide commentary and mostly it's just, are you getting this? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like Hindenburg type Oh shit. my God. Yeah, exactly. Just, oh my God. Are you getting this? Oh my God. Okay. Are you getting this? Are we recording? We're recording. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> I don't know. It's future tech. Your future tech. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. So, uh emerging from behind the towers you see three jet black vans just burst out like as though from some underground warren i like to make sure i get that in the shot oh yeah absolutely one, so one you, from each tower yeah exactly so okay. so you bring you bring it down you're like trying to like, like madly trying to capture these three like swarming ants and they drive out uh, they're hard driving because this is like a the area that it's in is like a field so they're driving through you know three foot tall wheat uh, the wheat that surrounds all these because remember it's natural and normal and healthy even to have a loop in your town and so <laughs> these so these they are just cutting like shredding these trails and tracks uh, through all this stuff <clears throat> and then as you're as you're capturing that, you see men starting to leap out um, of the of the vans around this burning, smoking crater. And as you bring the camera down, you see for a split second, you see something that looks almost like uh, a gold and silver bullet, almost like a shell, uh, in the base of this hole. And at, at that second. There's a ping, like from a M1 Garand, like the metal plate going off, and like a coiled spring, all of the video footage just shoots out the side of the camera. <laughs> like it travels a solid four feet. <laughs> it's so incredibly exposed. I look, I look at Tom and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like. <clears throat> And I just turn around and I'm like, are you get oh my oh yeah. uh, are you get shit. are you get oh my yeah. and then your camera is here, but the camera of the viewer tilts back up. There are now three more vans converging on this scene. And the text, the A V club, subtext, serious, S I R I U S materializes over the three towers. That's the name of our movie. That's the name of our movie. <laughs> now, <clears throat> uh, so we have our introduction done. We've done all of our uh, initial scenes. Um, now, uh, you're free to set scenes, or if you don't feel like it, I can set scenes for you as well. Uh, how does the AV Club want to manage this strange new world they find themselves in. So are we still there? <clears throat> right now, that scene is closed. Okay, great. But you can build a new scene mm. in a slightly different place, later in that place in the same time, right? So I think, I so think... You can just, you can, you can do exactly what Kimberly did. You can yeah. just do this, and then we can live in that space. Okay. Uh, I think Mr. Miller takes us for milkshakes yeah. after this. <laughs> And we're all just kind of frazzled. Yeah, this yeah. is like this is like the scene after the Avengers where they're all eating shawarma. We're all eating shawarma. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're just sitting there and like like you know maybe you have your pile of just f ruined film and Staring your camera everything. and you're just sort of like there and <laughs> no. Betty is eating everything. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, I wonder if it's I wonder if it's I'm a sneaking thing. stuff off of the table. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, exactly. I wonder if it's a thing where individual. No, no, dude. No, okay, hold on. Yeah. So, so, so all these scenes, all these scenes, everybody can throw stuff into these scenes, right? Yeah. <clears throat> there is someone calls out, let's say, order for Thomas. And Betty Swalix just walks up and takes the tray yeah. and then yeah. sets it down. There are no fewer than five trays yes. <laughs> on this table. And now, uh, the uh, Tamo is uh, sort of takes a liking to Betty because it reminds him of one of his, uh, uh, his younger sister. Si- younger sister. Yeah. Um, so he is always sort of uh, in the background uh, cleaning up your messes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so as you are bringing another tray and putting it on the table, I am. Uh, taking a tray and putting it back on the counter. <laughs> so, so the total yeah. number of trays oh. always stays. <laughs> so Betty seems to always have different food in yes. front of her. Yes. <laughs> but I also have a, I have a, a, sometimes the trays go under the table. Oh no! To yeah. the so uh, Jeremy oh, to the, the pig. Jeremy the yeah. pig is in a a huge bowling bag. Yeah, I was just going to say like, bowling bag, bowling like a doctor's ball. leather bag. Yeah, yeah. That, yes. that has someone else's name monogrammed oh, yeah. on it. Right. Oh, yeah. Nice. And yeah, the trays just go through to Jeremy the pig. Squeeze and bottles like, of ketchup into the cup. Tamo is absolutely 100% useless bullshit. So you think you're being clever most of the time. <laughs> you're getting some of them through, but he is catching uh, a, lot some of of your, food. a lot of your pig food. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So, so uh, Mr. Miller, he has, he is going to place a hand on your shoulder, and then he decides against it, and he says, "There'll be." Other loops. In Spokane. <laughs> <laughs> I say very quietly. But he, he is he is he is at a low point. I say, but I, I had the shot. I had the I had the shot. Isn't there any way you can get back into it or save it? I suddenly get wide eyed and I scramble towards your recorder. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I open up the, the tape cassette and I make sure that it looks okay. Yeah. Is, it, is it fine? It, it comes Which out and does not. I mean, it's it's not gonna have. But I I and then I suddenly rewind it and I I pause it and I put I press play and I want to see if I can hear the uh, the lightning or the the strike of light whatever it was. <clears throat> yeah yeah yeah. It's interspersed, interspersed in uh, Kimberly's running commentary. <laughs> it's not. There helpful is at all. a very clear. Um. There is a very clear whistle, whine, and then um, explosion sound. Like you can hear it, but on the recording, it's accompanied by other kinds of audio distortions. So we hear things that we did not hear at the scene. Correct. Or well, if we play it backwards. <coughs> okay, you guys are saying very we, 80s. We have to go back to the site. We have to know what this is. See, this is why audio is important. <laughs> I just think I, Ginger's the hero of the day. Oh, thank you. We should all congratulate her. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so you are, um, but you're saying we 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 need to head back to the site. We need to check this out. Um, as, as you're saying that, <clears throat> you look right um, outside. You're at um, uh, Zips Drive-In, sort of a, a local delicacy. Um, for some reason, their turkey sandwiches are very long. Uh, it's, there's no explanation for why they're not on a regular bun. No one ever talks about it. They just assume it's okay. <laughs> Maybe it's not okay. It's always haunted me. But they also have the crinkle fries, and that's that's something to consider. Oh, the texture. You look over at the right, and you see probably forty dogs, cats, and birds just running straight along the side of the restaurant, and then as they uh, they continue to run. <clears throat> and as they're running, just it's lucky that it happens this way. The uh, the crosswalk activates and goes to walk at exactly the right <laughs> time for all these animals to cross the street in safety, and they continue to run out. And you see a couple people um, dressed in what looks like some kind of work clothes uh, running after them. And then as they get across the street, they just stop. Uh, what? Direction, uh, uh, like cardinal directions from the loop. What direction yeah. are these animals moving? Uh, it, it doesn't. It, they don't seem to be running. You're into a quick mental calculation uh-huh. makes you think they're not like running away from the okay. loop. There's just a lot of them, and there's a couple exasperated people outside. Okay. 
What are uh, the chances <coughs> that I'll have extra film in any of my large pockets? I suspect you probably have extra film. Okay, can that I seem, quickly start That seems loading? like Mick to me. Okay. Because your iconic item is your camera, and mm -hmm. it's, there's no camera without film. True. So can I start loading that quickly? Yeah, to, absolutely. Is there any damage to the camera itself? <laughs> no. Oh, no, it's just no, the film. No, the, the, film, the film canister yeah. got spit out. Cool. So yeah. You're going you're to load up and I'm capture? I'm going to load up and try to get <clears throat> as much of this as possible. What time of day is this? Uh, this is, this is um, about five. Okay. Uh, so you, so you, it's a golden hour. Yeah, exactly. It's beautiful. <laughs> this lighting, it's, guys. It's oh yeah, this, oh, this is it. <laughs> uh, and so you, um, you just you catch the last burst of feathers and fur uh, running uh, south uh, uh, by division, and uh, when you you sort of you look back and you catch these these two uh, men whose uh, white working garb uh, says Katie's kennel uh, on a little patch over here and it says Jerry on one of them and the other one says Tom. Wonderful. <coughs> Tom is, and Jerry. Good touch. Is Jeremy the pig reacting in any way? Uh, to the food, yes. Uh, oh, oh, but not to the... He, whatever's causing these No, no, no. no. He, he, does, he, he doesn't appear to be agitated Just in any perfect way. Perfect sang froid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just ice cold. Who here has a bike? I can get us a bike, and then it will be my bike. I don't have a bike. I do not. Have I'm 14. A... What is our teacher's name? Mr. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller. Okay. Um, I look at Mr. Miller. I'm like, Mr. Miller, I have a huge favor to ask of you. Yes. Can you drive He's us? He's listlessly scooting fries around on his tray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I reach over and I grab one and I eat one. And I say, can you drive us back to the site? I, I don't think there's anything there. But how, how can we be certain? I think it's all private property, Mick. Well, wait. You look like you're an ROTC. Uh, what? Um, oh, military? Yeah. yeah, you've got the jacket. Mm. I mean... She should definitely pass as a actual real soldier for a living. <laughs> well... She is tall for her age. All she has to do, all we have to do is, you know, put this hair up and get her a hat. I'm... I've... Uh, as soon as... As soon as the words, do you have a bike, came up, uh, Betty has... Phone has book. switched to bike acquisition. Oh. Yeah, Betty's and, no longer in the scene. Yeah, she, <laughs> she's, know gone, Betty. <laughs> she's gone out to look for a bike rack. And we don't even know. <clears throat> no, Temo was the one who noticed yeah? this. Like he's the one who's always keeping an eye on it. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyway, do you have the rest of that? I will. I, will, I, will. <laughs> I mean, at my at my house, I have my brother's. Can we go clothes. to work? I'll, I'll you I'll want me to dress like I'm in the army? <laughs> well, I mean, just for a minute. All I ask. It, so, like in old war movies, when they're like, "Oh, we're bringing this guy back," and it's actually like the pig that they're gonna like roast or something, but they're like, nope, "No, he's drunk." Roasting a pig. Fine, you're not in this scene. You're not even here. <laughs> you're not even here. Oh my so, god! You're talking. The, the best part is that the camera is focused on the two of you. Yeah. But in the be outside the window, <laughs> it's like no, no, it's, not, it's it's outside the window and like a half block down. Yeah. yeah. He's like this big in the shot. Yeah. And the whole time you're talking, he's getting yeah. closer and closer yes. on a new bike. That's <laughs> exactly. Almost gets hit by a car. It's yeah. Just yeah. Subtext. Just it's just you. subtext. I mean, because you're no. you're riding your bike on the wrong side of the street. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Listen, give him the two fingers. It's just like a war film. We're gonna put you in the we'll put you in shotgun and and Miller here because I decided to call everyone just by their last name. Yeah. And Miller here is just going to act like, oh, you got separated from your troop and you need to go back to the base or whatever. Are you delusional? This yeah, will Miller, never work. Miller, Miller, Listen. Miller says, Kimberly, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking here. Have you not seen Operation Petticoat? This is a, <laughs> this is a, a quasi-military operation. I can't drive. Well, she's quasi-military. It's fine. I'll just say, your hair finally suits you. You look insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on the second bike. <laughs> No, well, that's, that's, fine. The, that's the back window. You just deposit one bike, and, and then and you go leave back. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I just shut down, and I just I produce my makeup bag, get my compact out, and begin. Nice. I no longer engage. Yeah. I say, Mr. Miller, look, I know where you are. 
But do you want to be the one to stop us? Do you want to be boring? Do you want to be the one who's the adult here? Or do you want to be the hero? He's like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I listen to very, I'm a very cool person. No, it's fine. We'll be all saving the world while you go home sure, and you're cool, sit yeah. and eat your meatloaf in front of the television. <clears throat> How's your charm skill? Yeah, I was just going to yeah. say, I'm weirdo. Not charming. <laughs> no, 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 clearly not. <laughs> um, but that isn't, that isn't to say that somebody, that isn't to say that yeah. somebody isn't. Oh, I got the, I got I'm, three on charm. How about you? Charm. Uh, seven total. Yeah, if that, if this is, if you want to try to make this happen, <laughs> I'm, not, it's I'm, it, 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 I'm not invested and you're anymore. Not, and you're so not, and sense. you're not obligated to make this role for other people. Right. But if if somebody he is Mr. Miller is in a very dangerous place in his life right now, <laughs> he might be willing to make some bad choices. Midlife crisis. <laughs> yes. Exactly. I think about I think about heading home to my family, and I'm like. <laughs> Mr. Miller, uh, I think, you know, <laughs> under further consideration, I think this might be a great idea. Like, we could do something worthwhile for once in this stupid town. I mean, and he, actually, he heard the tape. There is something There's something weird. there. I mean, we could think about it, man. Like, actually make something happen here. All right. His, his finger sort of, like, stops mid-fry scoot. He is now looking with full intensity, an intensity these fries do not warrant. <laughs> um, so give me give me your full roll and let's see what we got here. Maybe you can be the first to succeed a roll. Please, please, please. Yeah. Yes! <gasps> I got two. Hey. So is it one take away a success or is it just not That's a charm, success? right? Yeah. 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 So uh, charm is uh, lie, befriend, Happy make fish. people do what you want. Ooh. So, um, but you have more than one six in there, don't you? Two, yeah. Two sixes. Yeah. So uh, when you charm, you can get bonus effects based on the extra successes. So like I said, one success isn't like pass. One success is like, you're that kid in the movie that fucking does it. Right. Two successes is a different thing. So bonus effects for charm include, now you're welcome to make one up and we can try to figure out if it's legit, right? Okay. Um, <clears throat> you can maintain, like they will just believe you. You can bring them ideas and crazy ideas and they're going to be more likely to buy in. Right. Right? That's a bonus effect you can get. Form a lasting relationship, like a mentor-style relationship with this person. Um, they will take <laughs> risks. Like, this is, this, these all imply, at some level, they imply emotional weight on you, too. Like, when you charm a person, right, you right. are creating a relationship that may require maintenance, right? So, they can become infatuated with you. I assume that's not what we want. Oof. Um, mm. frightened, confused, or impressed, um, they may try to con they may try to convince others for you. So, how, what would you like to do with your extra bonus there? Um, <clears throat> I say, uh, uh, Mr. Miller. Also, I think the plan is <clears throat> for me to wear the uniform, but I really think that you would pull it off. A little bit better than I would, a sixteen or fourteen-year-old girl. What do you think about actually? He's like driving in them. He has a look on his face, and it's sad. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> He's not sad. That's what's sad. Oh, okay. He should be. And the look on his face says, "I still got it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Sweet combing boy. my hair up, and I'm just like, damn. Girl. <laughs> like, like I'm just, I'm just somehow putting up my hair and just being like, okay. Well, All right. He's like, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive out. But you're gonna have to probably get your own rides back because I need to pick up my daughter from ballet. Okay. No, you, you have to give me back that uniform. Oh, yes. oh, yes. So I'll look. I'll poke around. Okay. Very cool, very suave, and uh, I'll I'll come back and I'll tell you what I've learned. Maybe we should all hide in the trunk. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah. No, we're a team. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Okay. I have acquired uh, multiple bikes. <laughs> oh lord! <laughs> but you've just been like giving well, them back to people have, as they chase them well, down the street. No, or? not not that. I, I've been. Uh, 
I have no idea where you got these. <laughs> I've, been, you have no. I've been hiding them out of plain sight. Oh. So yeah. No one knows that they're stolen. Yeah. This well, is sort of on the awesome. side of the drive-in towards is there like, behind a dumpster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if there's you, some, yeah. Yeah, so you load up. So you load uh, a passel of bikes up in the back of the AV van. Um and the the so it's like the, the, I didn't the, even have to roll the, the <laughs> shot. It's too funny. Yeah. The shot, and also I'm from there. Nobody locks up shit. Yeah. Um, and so it's like uh, the the camera uh, has uh, everyone climbing in the sides, talking to each other. Um, Mr. Miller uh, adjusts his beret uh, in the rear view mirror. Um, and then uh, the camera shows the back of the AV van stuffed with bikes. <laughs> and then the two, the two doors close. We don't actually have enough room to be in there. Like, yeah, we're just like, real crammed. <coughs> right, right. Like it, it, close, it, it closes place. and the, uh, the license plate says AV Club 1. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. So um, it's a little later now. It's later. Um, he takes the same road back. Uh, no, he is not playing music this time. Let me just say he's also, his uniform is way too small for him. Oh no, it's but not working. It's, it's, like, it's like, like buttoned up. Oh, just like, he's somehow got boob window. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not working at all. Like, it's not working at all. So he, so he drives up, he, he drives up along that uh, sort of media area uh, as, I said, as it's getting much darker now. He drives up close to that media area. It's a mess. Everybody, all the local media has left all their hot dog wrappers and the place is just trashed, um, this little area here. And so uh, he opens up the back uh, and starts taking bikes out. Um, just sets them down in the grass, sideways. And then the bikes are like the huge lights on the front. Has, has, <laughs> yeah. has Miller questioned in any way whether what yeah, the did he have to cross of these a bikes were? No, 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 no. Like, he, like, no. He drove the okay. van over to where the media area Which was. Which is the to exterior. Look. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he. Uh, gets out in his ill-fitting garb, and then he walks uh, toward the zone itself. And you can, and there are now there are floodlights installed, all gazing down into this pit. And you are seeing men in not in military garb, but in what looks like hazmat suits with uh, massive trunks. Uh, delivering breathable oxygen to them from compressors uh, established all around this hole. How many Spielberg lens flares are happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah oh god. Just... Constant. <laughs> Floodlights, <laughs> woo! It's hard to see anything through. Point them. the camera right at that sucker. <laughs> Get him in. Exactly. Get him and in. you see Mr. Miller <laughs> walk <laughs> out. Uh, maybe he gets about 40 feet from the van. And then he runs back to the van and takes off the coat and throws it on the ground and gives you the thing. He says, "I'm sorry, kids. I, don't, I made a terrible. I made a terrible <laughs> decision here. I don't. Please don't tell the vice principal. Don't tell the principal. <laughs> don't tell your counselors. It was a moment of weakness and I'm ashamed." <laughs> and he, he jumps back into the AV. He jumps back into the AV van, peels out, <laughs> and drives away. I love Are it. you getting this child abandonment? What the hell? <laughs> Well, yeah, I've, I've got it all. <laughs> yeah, you were busy getting lens flares and then whoops! Yeah. I was really hoping to get the opportunity to explain to him how blackmail works. <laughs> well, uh, once you've done one thing... Too fast. Yeah. Uh. Too furious. <laughs> uh, so you are in the same place. Okay. Get back on my you got a heap of bikes. This reminds me of a... It's getting late. This are reminds we? me of a very well-known movie. E.T. We've got to be careful. I missed that one. Has ET come out yet? I think so. <laughs> Almost certainly. <laughs> okay. um, Early so. 80s. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I say, if I know anything, it's these guys are the bad guys. Well, you're pointing at me. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> Exactly hey. what you're trying to say. <laughs> and you can see my <laughs> finger in Yeah, shot. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> Betty, can you find a way in? I so what I'm what what Betty is thinking right now. She's looking at these hazmat suits, and she she wants at least one. <laughs> because so Betty has stolen all the clothes she is wearing. Yeah, the clothes that she has stolen, which is why none of them fit. She's bought them all from adult <clears throat> stores. 
Um, and Dora just pointed at me to say, yes, <laughs> sure. that makes yes. sense. Yes, it's she's probably she's wearing this. She's shirt. literally wearing those clothes. It, okay, okay. But in this size. Wait, yes. no, 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 exactly, but uh, so is it one of your shirts? Yeah, she's wearing one of my yeah, it's, it's Ultimately, yeah. you're gonna start. You're gonna start wearing gonna somebody start else's. Yes. That. One day you show up in pearls. Like, Whoops! Like, I have a shirt just like that. Me too. Here. Yeah. All right. So, so tell me so about is this. The plan. Uh, is this a? Are we in a wheat field currently? Exactly. Okay. You're just so right on it, the edge of this wheat field. Is there um, like a tent or something nearby that they've set up as a staging they, ground? It's it's in the distance here. But yeah, they absolutely have a staging tent. I definitely feel like these hazmat suits. If I can, if I can get us some of these, we can all, we can all wear them. And we can walk around completely unimpeded, a la Hitman Codename Forty Seven. That would be a very effective disguise. Um, I'm not sure what the next thing I would do <laughs> to do that. Size is. of all, every yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone, and like, hazmat. The like, tallest like, one is on the and shoulders. Yeah, they, fourteen sort of, year olds could, especially the tall <laughs> yeah. fourteen year olds, could pull something. Like I that. feel like my <laughs> my feet would be in the knees of these, yeah. and I would just have feet trailing behind. <laughs> me. Oh. Exactly. Tim was just shaking his head as as uh, Betty is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, relaying this plan to everyone, right, and, you and, might be and it's clear yeah. that no one else is buying. It. So, <laughs> like, worst case scenario, we get rid of Betty, and then it's just us. So. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> this is something we're just saying to each other yeah. uh, out loud. Yeah, that's fair. Betty, why don't you go and get us all some hats? She hasn't lessons. listened to the rest of no, that. Exactly. Thing. As soon as it was Betty, why don't you? Mm-hmm. She was like peeling away towards this so, tent <laughs> to great. to attempt to so, infiltrate. <laughs> Uh, you peel away. Uh, but how far do you get? Like from away from us? Are you gonna like realize hold it? Hold me up. <laughs> yeah. Well, You're still running. Yeah. I've uh, Temo has you know in one of the previous seasons has worked in a wheat field, so he knows about you know access paths, how to go. So easy to catch up to you. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. It has the the. I mean, around on this edge because it's designed to be integrated into the community because of course yeah. it's very safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, there's the uh, the long irrigation structures. Mm-hmm. Um, Temo, uh, knowing how these fields work, uh, proposes <laughs> how we can get close enough to the site to perhaps get some decent footage um, without w- while remaining concealed mm-hmm. um, as an alternative plan <laughs> to possibly getting shot. Um, <laughs> uh, as we are catching up to Betty. <laughs> yeah. If we do get caught. I think you're the only one who would who would chase Betty. Yeah. Like, everyone else is just like, oh, okay. Yes. Yes. We solved the Betty problem. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, if we do get caught, I know it's a slim chance, but if we do get caught, um, I have eight years of acting experience, both professional and non. Um, uh, local theater, I can obviously. very easily, yes. I was paid twice. Um, <laughs> gift cards, but gift certificates, yes, but not yes. important. Um, anyway, <laughs> I was a child model. Not important. So I can get us out of anything, so don't worry about it. We're fine. So I can after command. roughly six seconds, I come dragging Betty back. Yeah. Um, Just... Oh yeah, like oh, yeah, holding yeah, like this with the little kicky legs. Dragging it through. <laughs> so, so, so you would like to leverage your knowledge yeah. um, of how a field like this is laid out. Remember, yeah. wheat is high. Mm-hmm. It's high right yeah. now. So you want to try to leverage the natural environment yes. uh, for the mega sneak. Uh, based on how we see the, the, the paths of the spotlights and how close we can get. Exactly. I'm pretty confident that we can get pretty close without getting... Uh, <clears throat> Revealed. Well, here I'm gonna need. It's gonna be Sneak Fest 2018. Mm-hmm. You've all got your tickets. Um, nothing left now but to roll. Oh boy! This is gonna be a real Sneak Fest 1986. Was, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be real <laughs> off-brand if I fail this. So why don't you why don't you start us out here, Ben? Can I can I do body? Is it body sneak? It's body yeah. plus sneak. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I got, I got actual it. skills though, not what you came with for <laughs> okay. the table. Yeah, real right. numbers. Because uh, numbers gonna, are real. So I don't want you to roll two dice. dozen well, dice. Yeah, yeah. Not, you need more dice. We got more four, dice. Five, six, seven, eight. I need eight what? dice. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm so happy. This is good. So I got a P and A. <laughs> I believe that those are sixes. Yes. They are sixes. Oh, those are sixes? So yeah. I got yeah, two yeah. sixes. You got two sixes. Very nice. Now, I, I want to know how everybody does until I yeah. adjudicate. Okay. Right. Uh, Ooh, one, one six. Hey. Well done. Well done, Kimberly. Somehow. 
Oh boy. Oh no. Uh, so no successes? Snap is a little too lanky and yeah, awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a head <laughs> is just like she just looks like a head. <laughs> like a ghostly head bobbing yeah, through she's this got, like, field. Bright red hair too, so it's just You're like, trying to crush, but it's not really working. Alright, yeah. now uh, I need Mick and uh Camel. Uh how would you feel about giving Tamo an extra die for his knowledge of the field? I think that's completely legit. Okay. Field knowledge. I like this negotiation. Uh, oh. I got two sixes. Buddy. Two sixes. <clears throat> Perfect. All right, now Mick. Okay. Thank you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah seriously. But yes. we... Perfect. So, I got would lucky. it be possible for me to use my advanced knowledge of sneak <laughs> as represented by my two successes? To uh, to stop snap. Yes. Like now how, just how do you con- about to do tell me how tell me how you confer <laughs> a success onto this uh, suburban? I feel yank. like I feel like uh, I feel like like snap is, Arsh- is doing what, what what she thinks is going to be very good sneaking, and uh, and Betty is just running up and correcting stances like a yoga instructor. Oh, just oh no, and then we're gonna. <laughs> Uh, and, <laughs> and then when there, when there's cover, yes. just pushing down and. <laughs> you have to like continue to guide me because I just start arching my back. <laughs> <laughs> no, there we go. Yeah. Uh, and, and, then, and then stepping back in. <laughs> yeah, that uh, is marvelous. So that's that's at the big uh, like ten feet into the field. Okay. Yeah. already like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like unfolded. <laughs> yeah, the big eyes. No, no, it looks like it, it's like it's like a gi- buoy in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it's like high you. It's like high you tear. Like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Meantime, I'm just like Fossy, Fossy, Fossy. Yeah. So about halfway through, uh, you gotta say right again. In this case, I got I got my extra six. Yeah. and yeah. I sort of <laughs> I've seen. Uh, her uh, snaps performance at the beginning <laughs> yeah. of this excursion, <laughs> and about halfway through, I'm sort of keeping an eye on Snap, and I can see that she's walking straight into an irrigation pipe. <laughs> um, so I was like, "Snap!" and and you stop, and then I I lower and you know motion towards my <laughs> my shin area, and then you look down, you see the pipe, and then you step over. Okay. <laughs> Very like exaggerated. <laughs> yes. I have probably during the process of fixing snaps sneaking stolen some unimportant items from a person. <laughs> I'll, I'll text you what that is. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So, so Keek, when you uh, <clears throat> when you are down gesturing low, because mm-hmm. uh, these are and these are old pipes, they've got um, various spigots, so mm-hmm. that basically they can stop it. They can stop the flow yeah. at any point in these mm-hmm. massive structures, right? Hanging off of uh, one of these spigots, uh, like dangling uh, off of the edge, you see a um, <coughs> you see like a, a strip of durable fabric with something glinting at the end. Uh, I will. And this this is when you're helping snap. Right. Like you're like. Okay. Well, also, you. But oh, yeah. so the the actual <clears throat> segment that you're about to trip over has this weird yeah. thing, and that's well, it's a good thing that you are about to fall, so that we can discover this. <laughs> you're welcome, everyone. Uh, I guess uh, investigate the this strip of fabric. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so because it's, it's definitely it's out of place. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hanging off uh, this thing. It seems to be torn at the end, but you think that it is. Um, it might be like a dog collar, and the um, the glinting bit at the end is sort of it, as it has gotten darker. It's more and more like it's it's difficult to read the actual face of it. Okay. Right now, it's just like the you can see each other by virtue of the silhouettes and the occasional glint of the floodlight off of your eyeballs. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I I. I I pull it off the pipe, absolutely, and I just motion everyone to come look at this. And I'm like, this isn't supposed to be here. Does anybody have a I source have a of lighter. light? I yeah. Wanna, I wonder. Is there <clears throat> was there a light on a super eight? You could j- jerry rig something. Like maybe yeah. something. Yeah. You'd have to like sharply like, taped on or something. Yeah, yeah. Jer- yeah jerry rig. But you'd be able to catch something here if you wanted to. Okay. Yeah, I have a lighter too, I which wouldn't catch well in your super eight. Well. But yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll flip on my little taped on flashlight. Mm. Nice. <clears throat> so a little glint. I mean, most cover it for the most part. I imagine it's yeah. probably not super safe to have that there. Mm-hmm. So. Um, you have a source of light, you said? I have a lighter, but if your flashlight's already on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so you bring it down and it glints over the um, over the, the steel, like a durable, thick steel tag. Um, and it looks like it says uh, Nanka. Um, like N-A-N-K-A. But the N's look very strange. Backwards? It, well, yeah, yeah like a, the... It's a strange lettering type, mm. and the the N in the middle has a kind of crescent accent over it. So it may not be like Nanka. a tilde. Well, no, no, like a smiley face almost, like a just a the lower part of a smile. Like I'm holding the note. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, it looks like it says Nanka, but you're not even sure this is English. Sure. Hmm. Uh, is this a brand? Uh, that I would recognize from agriculture. Definitely not. Okay. It's not a you, you don't think this okay. is a brand. You think this is a tag with a name. I say to you guys, can someone you guys do a history check? Ever seen Raiders of the Lost Ark? Sure. <clears throat> I believe this is gonna be a government conspiracy. Oh, you this sure it's is not Nazis? Associated. This is I mean, I wouldn't oh, so rule it out. <laughs> I mean, you know we're not in a movie. Right? <laughs> Every movie's based off of real life. Every Every moment of real life is a movie. You think E.T. was really happened? I heard that that really happened. Cover up. <laughs> Cover up. Okay, you got Benny to back you up, so... Based on real events. <laughs> what yeah, that they, means. They, <laughs> they put that thing at the end of the movie saying any, any resemblance to real events uh, or people living and dead is entirely coincidental. Because the statement why starts they, with this is a work of fiction! Why would they put that up if it didn't really happen mostly like that? <laughs> That okay, so is great. familiar with your lack of control and volume, and it's like, shh, <laughs> just like hand on head, compress. Play with your, play with your pig. <laughs> Get on that. Um, so as you, uh, so you're able to get uh, relatively close now, and you can see in uh, to the edge. Uh, so the cr- the blast crater that it made when it landed. And again, you can still see and feel the coolant towers, uh, this triumvirate of coolant towers from the loop. Just again, like the the feeling is indistinguishable from excitement. It's all skin response, right? Um, <clears throat> but inside this hole, um, you can see them moving around, and uh, the object in the center of it is. Again, it looks it looks like a like a silver or gold bullet, but just the tip, just like the just like the sharp part uh, of the bullet, like song casing, mm. um, and it has driven itself into the ground. But the back part of the hatch is open, and there was clearly some kind of a chamber inside. <laughs> What's the the rough size of this? It is about. 20 feet in length. So is it like, uh, is there any... Um, and then wider Compared the to like a, a vehicle, like what for, for teenagers' sense of scale, <coughs> yeah. what, what is do Is it a have? person size yeah. or...? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's it tw- like 20 feet mm-hmm. um, in length mm-hmm. and it appears to have, um, it appears to have writing on it, but it doesn't look like English writing. Some of the letters are backwards. Okay. Um, from, from what you would expect, like mm-hmm. some of the characters are the same, but they're oriented in a different way. Is it Mick? Are you getting this? These letters? I'm, I'm so, like panning across <clears throat> it right now. Nice. You're you're panning across it, and it's like in the shot. It's like these guys are always getting into fucking shot. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. And it's like it's sometimes they do. It's like they're yeah, it's, walking across, and they're like dragging this massive hose, like right over the letters. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you can only see them for a split second before it comes God back damn out. Damn it. Exactly. So shot. with with mix. Um, Vast knowledge of film. Film uh, does Mick recognize the writing at all? You might. Give me a few movies. Just maybe Red Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Red <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> See, I'm leaning over and like looking at you. And I'm like, can you? Is this? Can you read this? No, can't. Uh, <laughs> nice. Can, can I read this? No. <laughs> no. You're going to be able to no. No. Okay. No. But, so it's not Latin. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I would like to throw out like a few, um, like military and. Like, they was just sort of like. <laughs> yeah. no, no, exactly. So, this you you think that this is Russian? You think this? You think this is the Russian language? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, um, Self just, again, it's just like it's it's English, but through the looking glass, like. Um, it's the symbols you know, but in this radically different context. Okay. Um, um, I <clears throat> so as you're as you're panning over uh, with the camera, it's like you're, just, you're tr- always trying to like get under and around these hoses. Yeah. Uh, and these fucking people, um, the camera it becomes like the camera view becomes fixed on a crate, um, and like stamped. From the lower left to the upper right on the wood of the crate, it says Operation Werewolf. But it's W H E R E. Location Where? Wolf. Um, Where the wolf? I said you guys. And it's just like your like your stomach drops out. Like you weren't in for this. You know what I mean? And it's like as you as you see <coughs> that, it's like you see it's like while you're watching that. The people who are coming close to that crate, they are, they are not hazmat guys. These are military special forces troops. It's like as you're watching it, you see a crowbar just like pierce underneath the lid, pull it off, and then you see rifles pulled out of the crates and distributed to soldiers. I feel like as soon as Betty sees that <clears throat> rifle, she is immediately already being physically restrained. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just it's just not even making eye contact, yeah. <clears throat> just, just grabbing your just collar. Just reaching, yep. <laughs> just and like, just, not even looking. Just gradually applying force to keep it back. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have an idea for the Russian. I'm assuming being that Kimberly is probably legacied in her popularity, her parents were most likely in Greek organizations, which means she knows at least a couple letters of the Cyrillic alphabet. Do you th- is, could that be useful? Wait, yes. Okay. So in this, <clears throat> uh, let's say that this scene comes to its conclusion. So how do, how do we leave this scene? Uh, how how about the immensity of what's happening before us finally hits? Sort of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all sort of. I mean, there's, there's <laughs> guys now. Well, yeah. And we're in the middle of the Cold War right now, right? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I think someone just turns a flashlight in our direction. We freak out. Oh yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Like it's like th- they have the rifles, and it's like you you see you see one of the soldiers like fully masked, right? You see one of the soldiers like lift the weapon just to test the view, mm-hmm. and then like it's just you, it could be a coincidence. Maybe it's not. When the weapon comes over where you are, and he activates the underslung flashlight, that's enough. Yeah. Yeah. You've had enough at yeah. this point. <clears throat> Let's instigate a new scene. Um, now it is late. This is, and we are, you know, we are young people. Past curfew. It's past curfew. We have to get home. Would you like to instantiate a scene where you do some research? Sure. Um, I don't have a huge boon to that. Um, so the idea is we're all at home. Yeah. Separately. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Um, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to research getting home. Uh, so for, <laughs> I don't know, uh, so investigate is a mind situation. I have four <clears throat> mind plus one to investigate. So um, I just want to see if, um, knowing what I know from talking as we were retreating, mm-hmm. um, I can remember anything from anybody's. I have one six. You have two sixes. I have two sixes. Good grief. <clears throat> um, so I would look up. Um, so pro- probably Russian, like a Russian history. So yeah. Your parents are the type. They've got a library. Yeah. It's the first time I've actually well, opened no, any exactly. Of these books. <laughs> so you've like pushed it open. It's like yeah. if your parents were home, maybe you would never do this. Yeah. But you push open that door, everything in here is immaculate. Yeah. And you find uh, you find a few books on because they are forward thinking. They're not caught up in this Cold War hysteria. Yeah. You know. They're not really political. So. <clears throat> no, exactly. Yeah. And so it's like the globe is like Russia's facing the door. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> like it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. You grab a you grab a, a book uh, on Russian history mm-hmm. um, and begin to uh, begin to flip through it, mm-hmm. and uh, you get to uh, 
a portion about uh, the space race, mm-hmm. the uh, this sort of proxy war of technology and culture. <clears throat> and you can see plain as day the launch module for Sputnik 2. And next to it, you can see a dog. Like, the, like a dog, right? And yeah. then below, it says, uh, it says Leica, and then in parentheses, Russia, and it looks exactly like the tag. Oh, okay. Mm. So is it a dog or is it like a dog? <laughs> ha A pun was made today. <clears throat> I'm um, sorry, everybody. So you're yeah. looking, li- yeah, and, it, and it's like, it's, it's light. Obviously, this is an old photograph. Yeah. It's from the 60s. Yeah. You think this dog... Is in there. You think this dog is wearing the collar. Oh, shit. Okay, great. <gasps> that does make sense. This is the best game. <laughs> okay, okay. So I have Ginger's phone number because we were on a group <coughs> project like last year because we're in the same grade. Right. So she's the only one whose phone number I actually have. So I go over to the phone. Oh, is it, that's the connection? Yeah. Nice. Like, I literally just spitballed that. But yeah, we had well, a science project. Well, no, so, 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 so there's actually, like, this is how well to do uh, your family is, Kimberly. There's a line in the office. Oh, that's right. It's my father's study. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's, there's a phone right on there. Yeah, so I literally just pick it up a la, like, three days of the condor, and I'm just, like, into this investigation. So I call Ginger um, and let her know. It's a Russian thing, and it's a space thing, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there's a real dog in there. What? Uh, what are you talking the, about? The, 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 the capsule. The thing. The space bullet. Oh, oh, what we saw. You're saying there's a dog in I there? I think there might be a dog in there. Do you have... I know it's late. Do you have... Can you... Is the phone... The phone can you came? come over? Can, can we talk about this? I don't know what to I mean, do. Yeah, I can come over. Okay. Yeah. Uh... And then we're going to exchange addresses hurriedly in the manner <laughs> that children like, do. I, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You yeah. know, it's at the end of the cul-de-sac. It's, it's where, you know, we it's didn't close. move. Yeah. yeah, it's close. It's gonna it's gonna take me a while to get there. That's that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I'll just I'll I'll get more books. <clears throat> it's perfectly quiet. Um, really, all the lights are off in the living room. Mm-hmm. And uh, as you you reach for the front door, turn it and open it. You didn't even know he was in there, but you hear your like a soft voice from your dad say, "Don't stay out too late." Yeah, I won't, Dad. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so how do you how do you how do you how do you wrap um, anybody else? And so basically, we can say that this is a scene where uh, you distribute this information to everybody mm-hmm. um, in the team. Um, what do we think about it? What are the next steps? Uh, how would we set scenes from here? To move the uh, mystery well, forward. Well, your scene is happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, on the way home. So this is just after our adventure. On the way home. Yeah. Uh, Riding home with a new bike. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tamo stops by the AV club um, because you have a key. There's going to be um, a, uh, whatever accoutrement it will be in an AV club. So he does remember there being a Super 8 manual mm-hmm. um, that he uh, picks up. And uh, heads back to the Love library. Dude, this is amazing. So uh, here, but, but, but check this out. Yeah. So you you come back there. Uh, somebody's left a light on in there. Mm-hmm. Um, you open the door, and Mr. Miller is in there with what you assume is another teacher, and his shirt is off. What, Mr. Miller? <laughs> <laughs> Mick is also like, sir. And he says, he says, uh, Temo. He says, uh, Miss Anderson, this is, uh, this is Temo. He says, uh, Buenos noches. <laughs> oh my god! Why? Uh, I love him. Uh, <laughs> uh, how can uh, how can I? Um, Hello. <laughs> and then I'm, and he's like, I'm, 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 I'm aware of what this oh. like. This is all very uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> and I just, I, I just forgot a book. Um, I'm just gonna grab it and go. He says, he says, he says "Well, great!" And he's like putting his shirt back on. He's oh. like, uh, "Well, uh, you know, next club." Yeah. So uh, uh, file that away because that's not his wife. 
Suddenly uh, an advent. <laughs> so yeah, it's the so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like a Tamil yes, yeah, yeah. will remember right. this. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tamil will remember this. Uh, yeah, certainly going to pick up his daughter from ballet. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so I grab the book and and just uh, do my best to avert my eyes. Yeah, yeah. You don't um, want to see any of this. And yeah, it's bad. And I'm out the door, um, and I'm at home studying how to r- repair your camera. <laughs> exactly. So your dad, your dad has, like, that he's stir crazy. Like the only thing that, the only thing that really, the only thing that he likes that he can do for uh, enjoyment. Is um, there is you have access to uh, like an old ham radio, so he mm-hmm. knows people in trucking distribution. Ham yeah. radios are really wide, so it's a mm-hmm. system he's used to communicate yeah. from very very long distances. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there is uh, someone in town that sort of does a show on here, and he really really enjoys it. You don't know how much of it he's interpreting. Like how much of it he believes, or if he just really, really thinks that this person is very entertaining. Um, but they're uh, they purport to be a mailman, and they say that if you look at, um, I mean, really look at the goddamn Constitution, you will find that the Postal Service is a branch of the military. And I serve this goddamn country. <laughs> uh, and he has talked about, he's always has different ideas about things that are going on. He's been railing about the loop for months. He has been trying to get popular support against the loop forever. But none of the things that he is saying make any sense. It, he, he told people that when they activated the loop, it would pull people's teeth out. But he had a lot of different <laughs> ideas about what was going to happen with the loop. And as you're you're there, sort of finishing up uh, your extra work, maybe you brought some something to eat for your dad. Mm-hmm. You can hear this uh, mailman. He says, "Well, these sons of bitches finally did it. They crossbred mailman's ancient, most powerful enemy, the dog, with a savage and brutal tendency." Of the Soviet mongrel. That's right. <laughs> Russian dogs. Goddamn Russian dogs running wild in America. Running wild right here in Spokane, Washington. God damn it. <laughs> Likes to drive a man insane. <laughs> Legit table talk here. Um, my grandfather used to pick us up for middle school, um, and he'd have Rush Limbaugh on the radio yeah. for entertainment. Yeah. Yes. So this yeah, is exactly. all very exactly. relatable exactly. for exactly. me. Exactly. So, so he, he's, oh, he's a regular guest in my house. <laughs> so he is saying, so he is implicating, for lack of a better term, uh, that he has been savaged by kind of spetsnats. Brutal martial art ninja dog <laughs> likes to appear and disappear. Likes to go crazy. Likes to undermine the union. Uh, Tamo still has the the uh, the collar. Yeah. Um, so you're looking down at the collar. And he's thinking back that very <laughs> odd scene at the drive-in. Oh, um, uh, we're sort of doing a, a flashback. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, do, does he remember seeing any dogs without a a collar? From when? When there was the the stampede. No. no. Okay. No. No. It, 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 you don't. You don't think so. Okay. <laughs> How far away does um... hyper intelligent dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I say God damn. <laughs> Operation Red Hound. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You, Just imagine this. 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 What's the name of this, this pundit? Very this crank. Yeah. 
He's like, delightful. I need, it's us. I, need sh- I need his merch. Like, well, yeah. No, no, he only calls himself the mailman. Now, obviously, he's <laughs> okay. a real person. But on his <laughs> show... He's the mailman. Well, no, he's just like, no, I call my Delta mailman, don't call myself. Nothing else don't want to be found. Telling the truth, get a man murdered in this country. <laughs> What is the <laughs> what, jewel of Spokane? What is the weather like in late March in Spokane? And then, yeah, Spokane is a, is a like a hot, dry sort of like okay. proto. So I just said uh, the, the scene is just uh, this this very odd uh, radio program like playing in a very oh, comfortable yes. double wide. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Like, like something the, that you'd see in a micro camp. No, no. The window, the <laughs> yeah. window is just spackled yes. with this ponderosa pine. Yeah. Colin, oh, oh. it's just like you got to wash it off sometimes. <clears throat> and Tim will just thumbing through this manual. So, um, end scene. Yeah. Um, how far does uh, Temo live away from? Um, yeah, where would this be? Where are the school? orchards? Uh, the orchards. So, so where you are is is going to be slightly in town, so that you can get access to the the town that he wants you to have access to. Yeah. So you're all like uh, this is all sort of in the north northeast of. Of Spokane. Okay. okay, so it's all accessible via via bike. bike? Yeah. Definitely. Like I, I did this. Like I chose this because I actually know exactly how long it would take to get to all these places via bike. Cool. I have done all of it. So. Um. The other you were just is... there this weekend, so <laughs> mapping it out. I was. I um, was, and I'm not. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> did uh, uh, Tamla's family just move here, um, or like, would, would their address be in the phone book at this point? Uh, it's just me and my dad. Yeah, and we're from out of state. We're just here to work, so we. Oh, yeah, guys wouldn't have not, It's not going to be. Okay. They won't yeah. be implanted in the okay. no. in the industry. Yeah. So there like wouldn't that. be any way to figure out where. I don't Tamo go. Lives. Yeah. Uh, does Tamo have like Tamo have if found? Please return to on any of his stuff. <laughs> I, <laughs> Dude, I, that's kick ass. So that he just finds. You're assuming Tamo has stuff. Yeah. So, but anything he does have would definitely he would have like marked with maybe like a return address or a or a return. No, I'm not really. Nothing like, like that. There's no the, this, it's a transient existence. Yeah. Definitely so he's looking address. through like your yeah. folding yeah. hats Jack inside out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if I had to pick up my guitar, could you help me fix my guitar once? Oh, it would have been. It would have been that would have happened at your house. I would be there right. doing. Work. Oh, so, okay. But what if yeah. Betty can just find? <laughs> because they have a bond now. Yeah. Yeah. Do like that. But I mean, like I said, you get into shit all the time. Yeah. You're like a loose ferret. <laughs> like you're just gonna find something. Also, I may well have. Uh, so when I know when the when Tamo left the school, there was the hurried yeah <laughs> sound from the air vents. <laughs> um, I may know not not know how to get home. <laughs> To exactly. House, oh. So may have simply followed Tamo oh. on my bike. Okay. <laughs> What's the urban situation in a double wide? <laughs> Not great. <laughs> There's probably uh, a crawl space underneath it. Yeah, that sounds like where I'd be. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> so, so, so you, so you find your way to this place. It's all. It's um. Let's see. Yeah, um, it's probably like a trailer park of some sort. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm living in the trailer park. So no, no, exactly, exactly, right. So it could be the same place, oh. right? I mean, yeah. why not, right? That would be incredibly convenient. Right. Well, no, <laughs> but that's how it would be in a movie too, right? Yeah. It's okay. So, yeah. but they they have got like the tall. It's like this uh, tall pole, sort of out by the out by the road proper where you would turn into it, and there is it's not a neon sign, but you can still see it in sort of in the fainting light. It's it's called uh, this place is called the Happy Haciendas. Oh, right, because it has to be cheesy, right? And so um, that H. Yeah, exactly. So you are, so you are, um, you're giving this. You're, you're working on stuff. You're reading this manual, sort of like trying to train your hands. Like you can, you can just imagine it in your hands and try to and try Maybe to like work on it. Hand exercises. Yeah. Exactly. But this is this is the crazy thing. Um, so your your dad has um, limped over to the window to open it up. And uh, you're continuing to work on the radio, or you could right. just a the study. manual, study exactly, manual. Mm-hmm. exactly. And then he walks over and uh, chuckles a couple times, and he turns the radio off. But you can still hear the voice, not from the radio. Mm-hmm. You can hear it outside the window. 
so Betty, so Betty Swalix, you are here as well. Mm-hmm. You are in the same place. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of weirdos here. It works for you, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, it works right. for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so you're outside, and then um, you see the you see the window open, and the window opens, and Betty Swalix is right there, huh. um, outside. But she's talking. But somewhere in this, somewhere in this trailer park, somewhere close, you think. The source of the signal might be there. May may I suggest that possibly Mick might be unseen framing her own doc, her own like David Attenborough documentary <laughs> about the lesser Br- British idiot oh my God. and <laughs> commentating to herself as she sees Betty thinking she's completely unseen <laughs> navigating her way. I feel up like to this Mick's point. probably more concerned with the, the larger conspiracy. Well, I actually had to run to work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I I had to run home for supper mm-hmm. and then run to work, mm-hmm. so I'd be there. So you know that okay. I'm at work. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So, I yeah. You but Betty acts as though she's being told. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know you you don't you can't always hear exactly like what it is. Right. But you know that there's some guy who just every night sits in his trailer and just yells. <laughs> <laughs> You so, just know that he yells and yells. I leave to go to meet Kimberly on my tiny stolen bike. Mm-hmm. It's too small. Yes, it's yes. Too small. It's way too small. It's got like the tassels. <laughs> oh no! It's like it's like the it's the least snap bike possible. Oh and, you're, and you're also oh. tall for your age. Oh, so yeah. it's like just, I just knees everywhere. Yeah. Awkwardness. Oh. Oh, yeah. And um, I spot. I would imagine that I would spot um, Betty, and on my way there, and be like. What are you up to? And I just... I have the same you question. can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh, hey Timo. <laughs> just in the window. But what are you doing? <laughs> exactly, and Do you, does, does Betty imagine that she possesses some kind of community? Yes, <laughs> but it's, it's just very Perfectly still. Perfectly still. And they'll think they didn't see anything. Okay. We're talking to you though. We <laughs> just see you. Oh, hi! Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, I realized that you left something with me and I thought I would return it. Is it the sh- my shirt that you're wearing right now that you're talking about? <laughs> Oh no! This is this is my shirt. Oh, this uh, Black so Sabbath. We have this <laughs> yes. Aussie, <laughs> like <laughs> tall tee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm wearing hard. like a like a Dress. robe. <laughs> yeah, it's over your knees. Like a cultist. <laughs> yeah. No, I meant this rock <laughs> that I found. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great my, answer. My, it's a great answer. My mistake. <laughs> drops a rock. My mistake. Just uh, thought I would do the right thing. So, uh, Tam- Tamo uh, comes down the steps from his tr- trailer and uh, uh, has one of his work shirts balled up. And hands it to Betty, and tells Betty to give Snap her shirt back. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> Goes off. Change the shirts. Exactly. <laughs> That's but this, fine. But this this voice is rising to a fever pitch. Somewhere in this uh, trailer park, um, there is definitely a lot of excitement. Uh, on their part. All right. So it's this. Is, this would be out of place because we've we've have heard this before, correct? correct? So but usually you have it on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. So you don't know it's not. You the have the moment. <laughs> you have the moment. It's turned off, and you can still hear it. So how does it sound like acoustically? Does it sound like it's like coming from inside? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it sounds like maybe so it might be an actual the, person it's just held, talking. Yeah. Exactly. It's held within. Um, um, yeah. So. You look like you have a place to go. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, but is this too enticing? <laughs> this current situation. <laughs> I'm eager for a distraction. <laughs> I would like people not to be looking yeah. at Betty 
people <laughs> questioning anything like that. She has already told me that it's going to take a minute. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I say, uh, well, this voice has been in this neighborhood. For, I've never looked into what it is. I've always wanted yeah, to. Yeah. Would it be fair to say that it does feel a little bit out, out of place due to the current happenings? <laughs> like maybe he's riled up. So yeah. that would it's, entice us. Oh to yeah, it's even louder. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I just tell my dad, um, I'll be back and mm-hmm. grab Betty. <coughs> and, right. Now and how do we how do, how do we roll how do we roll Kimberly into this? <coughs> well, I mean, uh, I'm I'm figuring stuff out, and yeah. uh, Mick is at work, so like, at we work. can we can be yeah. idle. Yeah. For now. So um, I think what I would have done is I would have gone home, and then I would have gotten scolded by my parents. Yeah. They're like. Where's Betty? <laughs> and she gets sent out yeah, to give Betty. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, yeah. so so um, we're sit- They're like, well, you know, grab a bite to eat first because we know that you have work. So I'll be sitting there pushing my food around. I'll say, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go find Betty and I'm gonna go to work. Uh, so I'll see you guys later. So I I put my backpack on, grab my camera, and I walk out the door. Um, and uh, I actually instead of going to look for Betty because I'm just sick of Betty just always being gone, and mm. I always just tell my parents that I'm. I'll go find Betty, but I actually don't go look. Yeah. Um, I just go to to my work, which is uh, a video a go go. Nice. Um, and uh, I decide to turn on some, um, um, I guess, like Soviet flicks oh, so you, for you, research. You, you, you can basically get tons of movies. Yeah, and all I, the time. I'm starting to watch stuff to try to piece whatever we just saw together while I'm I'm thinking about whatever whatever just happened tonight, and I'll be waiting uh, to come home to Betty later. Gotcha. Do, you, do you love being at work? I love. Yeah, it's, I it's love. a great place. Like it's, people, not, it's not already work. Yeah, people always come up to me and I have the movie recommendation <laughs> for mm-hmm. them. So You're that weirdo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. just want to rent this trashy movie and you're like, are you sure? Because here's all of Hitchcock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, yes. I, uh, she's, she is IMDB like before. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Set the scene for me. International Mick database. How are we exploring uh, your own home and the strange secrets that lie within it? Uh, so, we're not all together. It's just the three of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right now, yes. Um, I mean... I am so, so, what what is the time of day at this point? There's, it it's seems like it's been a pretty, pretty big day. Pretty yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah like I just assume that it's something. now pretty late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah if we were right at now, the drive-in at exactly. dusk, we did the thing in the field, now we're all back home, right. so we're approaching midnight. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's getting late, and this... Okay. Um, but, but that's when he does his best work. Oh, that that's when a... Crazy person would have would it's have very yeah. close to would, ha- would have these the, this show being played. Um, I would say that when when Snap starts to confront me about where I may have uh, found this shirt <laughs> that is identical but different, yes, to uh, her own shirt. <laughs> I say, anyone notice the strange voice? I was wondering what was up with. Perhaps that would be an interesting thing to interrogate someone about. I don't know. <laughs> Or, uh, you know, why concentrate on this one mystery when the world is, the world is full of enigmas, is what I've always said. A ten-year-old says this. Yes. 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 So Snap, Snap and I would be pro- probably pretty familiar with this yeah. park, this neighborhood. Definitely. Um, is there a section where... Um, we are told to not go into. <clears throat> I um, love this. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, <laughs> for unknown so, reasons. Exactly. <laughs> so there is a corner where it is said um, that a crank lives, and he has purchased. Uh, he's also renting a couple double wides around, just to give him a buffer from the rest of the. From the rest of the rabble, circling the wagon. Exactly. Yep. So he's and, and they are they are they are in disrepair. They they uh, he's ensconced by these um, unlived in. They're all full of newspaper walls. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then that that appear obviously that appears to be where the yelling yeah. is coming from. Exactly. <laughs> and then but but his his trailer definitely has some aftermarket. Modifications. Um, it had everyone here is going to have uh, antennas. Yeah, but he has antennas. Yeah, an underglow. Know exactly what yeah. you're talking. Yes, about. Yeah. huge rims, massive. They're called ground effects. Sorry. 
hydraulics. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So we just there's uh, a there's a there's a there's a dish that looks as though uh, it might be homemade. There are uh, <laughs> multiple multiple dish. yeah multiple yeah a plate <laughs> yes most there, there are multiple uh, flexible antennas. It looks like um, some kind of futuristic cyber bird has like made a nest on top of this trailer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I look at the trailer and I go, isn't this neighborhood the best neighborhood? I, I know you're new to it, but <laughs> there's just so many wonderful people. Have you met the mailman? Oh my God. Just like the most wonderful people. Fruit of life in this neighborhood. This is the most exciting you've been all day. Anywhere else in this town. Of course, like this is the interface. I can't this actually is the tell interface. if you're being sarcastic anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. I love the people in this neighborhood. There's a I don't shit, want to live here. She's saying that and 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 there is potentially evidence for her <laughs> assertion. Because behind the curtains, you can see arms. Just just conducting a spectral orchestra <laughs> inside this inside this this uh, trailer. Beautiful. Uh, head towards that trailer, I guess. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just yeah. The closer you, the closer Maybe you. Maybe I bolt in that direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just just eager for distraction. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the closer you get, like the closer it, um, like it starts to feel like you're walking through. Like the air thickens, like there's just something strange about this environment, um, <clears throat> and so you you now stand before the uh, the loose aluminum door uh, of the of the trailer. The screen non-existent. Right. The outer shell moving freely in the wind. <laughs> the door itself not strong. <laughs> He's it's, like the Jacoby of Twin Peaks. <laughs> yeah, hundred yeah, like, yeah. percent. For yeah. sure. Uh, spoilers? <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. So, so it's not spoilers. Uh, yeah, so it's, yeah. so it's definitely spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Even the name uh, of the character is a spoiler for me. So is he in the, <laughs> the mid? Uh, the midst of a oh, oh, rant. Yeah, of a truly legendary um, uh, rant. We sort of know <laughs> Betty's talent. But it still is always a bad idea <laughs> to see what Betty can see. <laughs> All right, lads. <laughs> I've got an idea. How, how, does, how, does, how does Snap feel about that? <laughs> uh, anytime Betty's in danger, really, I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> <That's her. laughs> She's the tank of the group. <laughs> so the the, vent, the obviously the venting in this sort of situation, it's not, it, <laughs> it's not gonna it isn't gonna be on the roof. Mm -hmm. The venting and actual like the AC and all that kind of stuff is gonna be underneath. Mm -hmm. And like many trailers, like many trailers, uh, sub trailer. Oh <laughs> yes, that's why I make the big bucks. So, um, <laughs> so and he has done his best um, to. Get that nice lattice going around, but you think the last attempt at maintaining this lattice may have been as much as a decade ago. Mm. So there is a substantial um, access point okay. <laughs> underneath this trailer, directly into the bottom. Uh, and the position of this lattice is uh, positioned where, in flat. comparison to the window where we can see him ge gesticulating. Oh, he's just going whoa. And nice. then down to the base, it just it's basically the whole okay. the whole trailer is, is elevated, and this is what he thinks is appealing. Okay, mm -hmm. he's come to the conclusion that this lattice is very tasteful. Okay, <laughs> um, or was at one point. Okay, so I'm immediately burrowing into that, um, just to to see what I can find, um, see if there's a way an opening up there. Maybe I can. Part of me is thinking that so Betty thinks that her route to friends. Will be through stealing. <laughs> she she is under this impression when somehow. She, when she goes to steal bikes, she is of the opinion that everyone will go, "What a wonderful person to have brought us this bike." <laughs> this is how you express love. Yeah, yeah exactly. Rather than through theft. Rather than imagining in their own <laughs> mind what a terrible thing it would be to have one's bike stolen. <laughs> right. Um, and, so, so you're doing it. And so indeed, will have would have stolen something from Snap. To give her the opportunity to bring it back. 
and say, look what a good friend I am. <laughs> However misguided. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's seen in here an opportunity to make things right with Snap by stealing something from this fascinating gentleman, some kind of American arcana. Right. So uh, as you make your way... Uh, as you make your way through the lattice, I'm scrabbling. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's like snagging on the. Mm-hmm. It's like snagging on your shirt. My new shirt. Yeah, exactly. There's like there's like a. It catches and then tears. It's a. a hole. This is a work shirt, so yeah. it would not be out of place if there's new holes added. Yeah, to them. exactly. So it <laughs> catches on the sleeve and then just pulls straight through, uh, scratches the upper part of your arm, um, <clears throat> and almost. I mean, out here we can hear the voice a certain way, crawling underneath. Um, you're only hearing it through the the loose floor. Uh, floor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's much easier to hear exactly what he's saying. And he says, I like to tell you that I have every reason to believe. And then as you're crawling through, you hear sort of like a, a whine, like a sharp whine underneath in this in this empty dark space below the trailer um, and that whine slowly starts to turn into a growl <clears throat> and uh, you hear the mailman say I have every reason to believe that son of a bitch followed me home and there's a couple <laughs> blinks in front of you and you can just see these green marbles in front of you underneath this underneath this uh, thing and then as the as those two blink, you can see a ring of green lights activate and glow around what looks like some kind of collar. And then as that happens, you see ten other smaller lights looking towards you as well. And then they uh, the smaller lights, turn away, you can now see that there is a pile of puppies in addition to the dog itself and whatever this collar they have placed on it is. I, so you are there like right in front of it, just feet away. Rip Betty. Part of this, so <laughs> part of what Betty is thinking is just a natural human reaction like, oh, goodness gracious, what a troublesome situation I am in. <laughs> Part of her is wondering how a puppy and a piglet interact. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the puppies seem primarily interested in uh, human milk flesh. Oh, okay. At this point. Mm-hmm. So you can see them, um, you can just see them uh, pawing and nursing. Yeah. Uh, while uh, the dog just lets out a massive, like a uh, yelping whine. Okay. <clears throat> do, do, like a big yawn. Do I think I've been noticed? Definitely. But they're not. They don't seem aggressive. Not right now. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna crawl. <laughs> I'm gonna crawl. Feed a, them the pig. I'm gonna crawl a little <laughs> closer. The pig. Oh my god. <laughs> Because I still have the pig in the bowling bag, right? That goes everywhere. You, just carry, you can yeah. always assume that I have a pig with me. I crawl a little bit closer, and like any like ten year old, regardless of gender, when I see a puppy, I Not reach touch. out yeah. to touch the puppy. Uh, um, the mouth goes down, and then she licks the puppies to clean them. Oh, from my foul touch? No, no, no. And then. Your hand is just caught in the crossfire. So I'm being licked by the dog? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... I say Betty wants friends. <laughs> well, there's there's a ton of them here. Yeah. There's and six has, more friends right just, underneath this trailer. Is entranced, has forgotten the rest of the world <laughs> completely, doesn't remember where she is, and just is so you, going so you up hear a, You hear a, a whine and a scrabble down there. Um, and then there's no sound at all. Underneath. This is the story of the ten-year-old who was raised by alien dogs. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But then, but after a few moments of silence, 
a ghostly green light begins to emanate. This is for uh, for Snap and uh, Temo. Mm -hmm. A ghostly green light begins to emanate out and pulse gently. Uh, this is the, the necklace. You know that it's mm -hmm. a necklace. You have no idea what it is. Okay, so is this like poltergeist level of light as it's in like much. it's too it's much light much. Oh, yeah, we are being backlit, backlit by this light it's right. too much um uh so we have to scramble <laughs> to right. figure out what's going in the on cam in the camera <laughs> version of this yeah there's just two you're just two black shapes yeah right against this light <laughs> and it, i'm sorry the light is coming from the trailer it's underneath from underneath. Un underneath the trailer yeah. uh, uh where where, I'm where just betty gone. has just gone uh i say uh uh Betty, get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Betty. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh. Don't Stop, touch the light. Please, please, yeah. please I sort of yeah. motion, um, I motion uh, Snap uh, to get closer to the access point that you were in mm -hmm. so that we could whisper through the access point to see. Ask you what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you, so yeah. You, you lean down and you looked in. Yeah. And it's... Betty turns around and it's just Betty and a pile of dogs. <laughs> I should motion to Luminous snap to yeah. <laughs> look in. Um, if I, um, does it seem like I could reach in and just grab Betty's feet and just yes. her out? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah. Um, I, think, <laughs> I think Betty would resist that and would be scrabbling up the dirt to try yeah, and, yeah. or at least trying to, she's, she will be able, like would have grabbed the bowling bag yeah, yeah, at yeah. least with one hand. And reach out to try and grab a puppy on the way out. <laughs> okay, I notice you struggling a little bit. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I sort of nudge you aside and just grab one of your legs with one hand because mm -hmm. I want to do this force roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so it's a help. resistant roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you uh, will. So you will res You will resist. Mm -hmm. So this is kid v kid action. Okay. So grab. Uh, so grab the, grab each, the number of dice you have. We each have one leg. So I have, <laughs> I have eight dice for this. For, for uh, force. No, so so, I, well, body, so, so I was including body, or is it just, just force. force versus oh, no, body? Sorry, body plus force. Zero for force. Okay. Three. So I have yeah, I have eight dice. Again? How's yeah. that? Possible? It's not possible. Five body. You're not oh, yeah. five body. Oh, okay. three. Five body, three, three force. Well, that force force represents her ability to squirm. Yeah, okay. exactly. Well, well, exactly. To make it difficult for what you yeah. are trying so to do. So let's establish your uh, successes right now. Okay. So roll your eight. Okay, I will need some dice. Uh, yeah, go go for it because I have eight dice as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a preponderance of dice yes. here. A robust selection. Uh, I have at least one, one six. success. One success. Yeah, one success. Now, so are you helping each other? Uh, yes. So you are. So you can help. Uh, it's, 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 he's he's going to do the grab yeah. because mm -hmm. each have a leg. Right. One of you has to do the roll, but he can get one extra oh. dice as long as you help describe the scene of mm -hmm. the pull. Okay. Um. Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap for a die. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind doing that. <laughs> um. I would imagine. Um. Uh, Betty would be kicking. And trying to and get wriggling out. And wriggling and yeah, wriggling definitely. And like that. So I'm like holding down one leg while trying to grab the other to like pin it down. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then when I finally get it, yeah. I sort of like I like hand it over yeah. to, to him. With, with just a little bit too much pressure. Oh, yeah. 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 Like where you pinch it, pinch it down. Yeah, like, you're like, not like, happy. Squeal just a little. Yeah. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still like trying to hold this one down. Oh my Eddie's god. Eddie's trying to like. She wants to scream bloody murder, <laughs> but she knows that's bad sneaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So I hand it to I'm Zemo, just, and then I go, ready? Yes. So one success. So, uh, oh you got one God. success. I've got nine die at this point. Got a okay. bag full of die right yeah. there. Should be okay. Morty. Uh, one success. Oh, two, two success. Three, three two success. success. All right. Yeah, so you shoot out of the... <laughs> Am I able to... <laughs> we would pull you out, and then you just... Yeah. Pri primarily on my way out, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to grab a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Do I succeed? Here, give me a little. Give me a sneak, which is which is steal in this game. Okay. Um, sneak. Give me a sneak. Oh, that's okay, so that's three. Right. Do I uh, add body to that? Well, no. You you, you always it's, add the stat. I'm okay. not surprised you didn't go for the collar. Shiny things. No, I went for the puppy. <laughs> Sweet pupper. <laughs> Another way that my bread is buttered. One, two, five. 
seven. I mean, you already stole a damn pig. Like, pig egg. stealing. That's that is a that is a One, commitment two, three, to, to animal husbandry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have one success. All right. So, you, so you're able to grab one mm-hmm. real quick. Yeah. And then you get pulled out with this dog. And I go f- like flying out. I'm guessing. <laughs> you, 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 you get dragged out, but you have the pup well, with you. It's it's so based on my extra two sixes. Yeah. Like you are pulled. <laughs> you were clean, launched like from a rail like gun. nothing but net. <laughs> yeah. Like we're still. Someone's yelling above us. We're trying to be quiet. There's dogs yelping. There's huge lights. Yeah. Uh, this is so fast mm-hmm. that you don't even realize that you're over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And we are. Beating feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so you have you have the puppy. And I have a bowling bag with a yeah, pig bowling in bag it. Bowling bag and the puppy. You have it in your. And so, what do you say to the puppy? Good puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Good puppy. And the, the puppy closes its eyes. You can see its little tongue is curled Ooh. with the expectation of food. Mm-hmm. And as you are walking away, it dematerializes from your grip, and you see a tiny flash. Underneath the it's a black trailer, dog. Oh, that's and I shout, "What the fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> so I am yeah. now, I am absolutely <laughs> inconsolable, and I start kicking. <laughs> well, at the, all wind, the window slides open. He's yeah. like, "Go damn, goddamn riskies!" <laughs> I was fine as long as I got I'm to so keep good. the dog. <laughs> now I'm kicking and screaming. Yeah, oh, and yeah, like, yeah, my yeah my and we are running. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ten year old gonna wash his mouth out. Oh, ten year old ten year old <laughs> girl in England? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't even know half the uh, half the Sorry, obscenities that you can say. Yeah, it's like it's true. Language. It's true. Yeah. Now, I think she speaks Russian. <clears throat> next yeah. scene. What does it look like? What's I mean, the next scene of our movie? You could head to my house. Oh yeah, I'm heading. I... You could take the whole gang is with it, you. Is it now? It's Ambush. about midnight. <laughs> you may have to set this aside for the night. That's true. It's, it's late, late, yeah, late. But if you, if you don't turn up, is Kimberly going to be annoyed? Oh, hell yeah. But that's just my thing. <laughs> well, the, but I call. feel like I would... I could well, no, you, you, yeah. you, you, you have leniency. Unlike everyone else, <laughs> yeah. I don't think your parents want to argue. Uh, no. Yeah. Your dad is no. not even aware that you're here. gone. He, he said bye, but... No, yeah. he welcomed a person who was not there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's where he's at. So, um, so absolutely. Right. So, so yeah. you're going you're gonna to start... You're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get straight, my... you're gonna foment this plan. So yeah. here's what we need. Um, what are your intentions with these dogs? Just right? just so we yeah. we just so we uh, uh, close that loop. Yeah, that loop. Um, I drop you off at the video store. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Tell us about. I'm still mad. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm, like, I'm mad. I t- I'm telling. I'm trying to you tell everyone. Out, <laughs> like the lights turn off inside. You come out, and then he, Tamo's here with this yes. girl, just kicking and screaming. Just and I legs. just deposit her on oh, the counter. Yeah. I say, I say, thanks, Tamo. <laughs> no, no, no. no. But, this, but this is the best part: is that you. So Tamo comes in and sets her down, and right over it says "returns." <laughs> yes. And see. <laughs> Did you tell us what you saw? The dog with the collar. I am screaming about the puppy that okay. I believe Completely was completely inconsolable. Right. Yeah, right, totally. ranting okay. like <laughs> Got it. yeah, no yeah. information. Well, you guys have <laughs> taped his mouth. I believe that it was one of you who caused the puppy. <laughs> like I, that puppy was taken from me, <laughs> and I blame you. But you were a little impressed. A little impressed. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> yeah. I'll occasionally admit it was good. It was good sneaking, mm-hmm. getting the puppy away from me. It's true. It's true. But hey, I'm still mad. Yeah, exactly. Professional courtesy. Yeah. Now, um, we need a plan. So it sounds like the two of you are going to be up late. Mm-hmm. This is an opportunity uh, for a plan to be created. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you want to happen with these creatures? Right now, it's just the two of you. You have a unique opportunity um, to. Be dictatorial um, about some of these plans and some of these intentions. Does anybody have the lead skill? I do. So I uh, perfect. I'm up on this. Perfect. I'm very excited. So lead is a very very novel skill in this game. Basically, it allows you to create a dice pool and then issue those dice to friends for their roles. That's fun. It's very cool. As long as they do what you say. <laughs> oh, it's very fun. Right? It's very Kimberly. Oh, I love it's it. It's very Kimberly. So. 
Yes. So we're starting to hatch a plot. So so you are going to go to Kimberly's house. Right. Mm -hmm. Kimberly's house is very nice. Uh, parents? Not here. Well, not here. Mm -hmm. They are each at separate fundraisers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two different fundraisers. In different times. They're against each other. Yeah, against each other. At, no, yeah, yeah. At, this like, point, at this point, it's the after party yeah. of the fundraiser. They're whatever. Exactly. They're so exactly. whatever right now. And so, so you come in, and her house is, is just like a beautiful divine lantern that God just set in the countryside. <laughs> Warm light shooting out from every from every pore. We keep the lights on in my house. From yeah. every pore of this thing. Right. Earth Day um, is a myth. And so so you so your your silhouette uh, arrives at the door. Um yeah, I I guess I just you know, I found the door and I scream a little because I've been <laughs> You've been reading about Russia. I've been reading about Russia and conspiracies and so I shriek and then I'm like, oh right. And so I welcome you in and just, it took you long enough. You want some coffee? Because of course I have a tea kettle that has been ready and I pour you some instant coffee okay. without actually waiting for the answer. Okay. And I just slide it over. And so I then begin to give you, I draw you in to the drawing room, actually to the study, <laughs> and uh, begin to show you all of my facts and figures and oh, I'm talking no. over any attempts that you make to explain what has happened. Do you already have a crazy board? I, I, it's, not, it's, it's less a crazy board. I haven't had time to like find the yarn. I don't have the yarn. It's much more a uh, beautiful mind, like individual books everywhere. I didn't know that was the term for it. I didn't it might not be. I didn't know. It's it's perfect. Perfect. Well, you knew exactly what yes. I meant, right? Exactly. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I'm just, you know, in, in you know, and I, I've got, I've got just like our, we have a million TVs, and so I have the study TV on, yeah, uh, just, just for noise. Which at this point, it's already gone off. I don't know if we even, I haven't turned it to cable, but it's just yeah. static because I haven't paid attention for so long. Oh yeah, it's just and test patterns. So yeah, so it's just test patterns, and I just have that on, and I'm explaining to you all of the different connections and why perhaps there might be a dog. And the best part is that those test patterns, as soon as you hit midnight, yeah. America the Beautiful. <laughs> yes, oh, exactly. And then God, it's the end of the right broadcast day, and then uh, they turn it off. American, America the Beautiful begins to play yeah. as you're revealing yes. this history of Soviet... <laughs> yes, exactly. God, and if possible... Experimentation. <laughs> if, if possible, if I can dictate the shot, we are crouched Please, over... Please, you, you, you can do. Yes, we're crouched over all of these books, and I'm absolutely <laughs> batshit, and you're a little bit in shock. And then behind us is the American the flag. flag. <laughs> And like, and that's most of the lighting is coming from there. Other than that, there's a dim light on the on the, uh, uh, <laughs> like a dim light from the the desk. And then, it, of course, I finish my speech as soon as it says this concludes our broadcast day and goes to snow. And then, uh, and then I look at you, and it com it coincides with the snow. And I'm waiting for your answer to my incredible theory that I have here. Uh, I, can 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 you go over the part with the um, with the Russian? Oh, yes. So, okay. So do you know where Russia is? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know where it is. Okay. So, so there's this whole thing where they moved from, they moved the capital like 800 times. And like it all depends on whoever's in power. Anyway, all of these things have a bunch of different names and it all has to do with people who are in power. And um, it doesn't matter. Uh, not important. Uh, space, and we were trying to fight them and it was the moonshot. Anyway. I think, I think there might be a space dog in the capsule. A space dog? Space dog. Yeah, this one, and I'm showing her like, this one here, Laika. Laika, that's, and that's what it's- The dog we, we, that was sent to space. Dude, this is just like the fucking movie. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> this is what I want. This is that part where it all gets boiled down. Yeah. This is kick ass. All right, it's like please too much okay. Yeah, so like, so, okay. So Laika, which, Okay, and I'm pull over another th book with a Russian alphabet, which would be spelt with a weird N and another weird N because that's how they write things there. Right. It's like the Greek alphabet, but it's not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So when you spell that, that's most of Laika. I think that dog is still there. I think that's what's in the loop. I think they brought the dog from space. They brought the dog from space, and now they it's free, I think, because we got the collar, and now they're going to hunt it. They're gonna hunt it to death. <laughs> They're gonna hunt it to death? Yeah, I think they want it dead. But it says werewolf, right? Right? right. So like where, where is the wolf? It's, I mean, they wouldn't have thought ahead to like actually title the operation like we don't know where this is. They knew where it was gonna be, but then it wasn't where it was so supposed it's to be. So in this town? Probably, probably. 
Anyway, how are you? Oh, and I just drink little, some more coffee. <laughs> a, a little tired. I, my coffee's not drink at oh. all. It's just a oh. Um, I, I'm, I'm fine. We, I had like a, a weird altercation with Betty and... Oh my God. Know. What is that? Have you ever heard of the mailman? He's just this... <sighs> The, I mean, like, the guy who brings my mail? No, 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 no. He's, like, this this man that, like, he, he has his own radio show. Like Rush Limbaugh. Yeah. Okay, well, I know who Rush Limbaugh is, but I don't think anyone's ever called him the mailman. Okay. Did I say the radio man? I meant the mailman. You said the mailman. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Are you yeah, hungry? We- I'm going to guide you to the kitchen <laughs> and just start taking out random food that I'm just eating. <laughs> Feels like you're on uh, <laughs> something. I'm really, I've drank so much coffee. <laughs> Cool. Um, cool, yeah. Do you think we should go and look for this dog ourselves? Do you think that that's something we should do? I think the dog's going to find us. Or we need to find the people who are looking for the dog and find it first. Maybe. Do, do you do think it's a weapon? It? Oh, maybe. I mean, you think it went to space and came back with something? Well, it's been in space for like 20 years. So, like, I'm pretty sure if it's still alive, it's probably like nuclear. We gotta find this dog. Like a nuclear dog. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Thoughts? Let's find the dog. Okay. That's what I wanna do. What do you wanna do? What do you think is right? I, I need more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just gonna like set myself to making another <clears throat> cup of coffee with my half drunk coffee that's over here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, great. Um, oh God. Okay, I'm not used to it yet. Um, mm-hmm. Do you want to sleep over? It's really scary here now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sleepover. we've got like three extra bedrooms. No one ever lives here. I, I live here. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm tired. Okay, You're... let's go to bed. <sighs> we'll talk about it in the morning. <laughs> okay. Good idea. Brilliant. All right. It is a <clears throat> jump cut mm-hmm. to the two of you in the morning. Mm-hmm. Have um, you slept, Kimberly? <laughs> I slept on her floor. Yes. Like, I did not have sleep you in slept? my own bedroom. Uh, yeah, I've slept. In fact, I may still be sleeping. I may still be sleeping when you jump cut because I'm probably like on the couch. Like, I'm, or like I'm on my own bed, but just like in my clothes, just sleeping <laughs> with like, like my like eyeliner. Like, yeah, the empty cup and eyeliner and I'm all shitty. And like I <laughs> jolt awake because I didn't set my alarm. And what time is it? <clears throat> oh. What day is it? Hi. Hi. Did you sleep well? I was fine. Okay. You didn't sleep in a bed? We no, have like no. three beds. I don't want to sleep in a weird house. <laughs> Your house is weird. Okay, I'm offended. I'm going to go wash up. Okay. You can take what you want. I okay. don't care. And I just like pad to the... While I'm brushing my teeth, it's like, so what are we going to do? I think we should go get everyone else. We should go find this dog. Okay, how long do we do that? I don't know. We can get... We can maybe find Mr. Miller. And talk to him about it. Oh, why do we even want anything? And I have somehow emerged immaculate. <laughs> and I'm like, right. we've well, been I, in there for like for only a like, oh, few minutes. I am incredibly. I'm good at the. Am quick I change. Like, <laughs> yeah, my red hair is like everywhere. Yeah, it's just, just all like, over the place. Disheveled and like. And like as I'm talking to you, I'm like fixing your oh, hair. Yeah. The like, maple leaves. Yeah, yeah it's like. I'm like super. Fun. Yeah, and so like I'm busy myself, and I'm just like I just don't think we need to bother with Mr. Miller. God, how did you get a pine cone in your head? D- I just I just don't think this is something for him. I think we can act normal, but like. I think we can do covert <coughs> things. Okay. okay, now, where do we want to meet mm-hmm. Gathered Throng? Do we have a hideout? I think we should uh, go back the to the hideout. hideout. Is the, the hideout AV is the yeah. AV club. Yeah. Oh, right. Does anyone but me know that there was a dog there? Did that come across in any of my ranting? This would be a great uh, opportunity. We had a puppy for a second. Yeah, we both yeah. peeked in. Yeah, so. This would be a great opportunity during at the AV club meeting mm-hmm. for you to make revelations of this kind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where are we going to find this dog? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed I didn't know because it was like a lot. Oh, no, All right. no, okay. no, 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 no. You don't I think have to this is way better. Okay. Yeah. No, wait, okay. wait, wait. Yeah. I, I have an idea. What if at the AV club the whole plan is being laid out? Everyone is there but Betty, and everyone's gone. All right, so we, we need to find this dog. At which point, <laughs> Betty kicks the door and says, We need to find my dog. <laughs> yes, <laughs> your dog. Find my dog. <laughs> yeah, my dog. Uh, you have a my, pig? I can have more than one thing. <laughs> Oh, do you okay. Know, do you know what a pig is versus a dog? <laughs> yes. Okay. And I'm not willing wait. to explain it to you. <laughs> Maybe it's a Russian joke because, like, pig dogs. They, they call people. Wait, that's Nazis. Doesn't matter. <laughs> somebody bad. Somebody bad from a movie. Yeah. yeah. 
You're on Nazis. <laughs> so I think like at the very beginning of the day, I would have gone in super early. And yes. um, I have like a stack of movies that I'm just trying to get through and I'm rewinding <coughs> them and I'm, I'm like pausing in very specific moments You're and I'm writing down time plan. codes. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and then as you guys start trickling in, I'm like, all right, I've got it. I've been doing my research and I'm thinking Red Dawn meets The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing meets meets Firefox. Think about it. We have the Soviets, we have aliens, we have capsules. Anything can happen at this point. What if this is the end of humanity as we know it and we are its only home? Nick, thank God you're here. I have so much to tell you. Jesus. And I just like begin to lay out my well, so you remanufacture the I crazy board. I remanufacture the crazy board, this time somewhat more, <laughs> and like a couple of notebooks of my own because it's too much. And so I'm just like, listen, you are exactly right. I think it's like a like a what? No, the dog <laughs> is named like when did you get here? The dog is named Laika. It's it's spelled like this, and and it it has to do with anyway. I'm pretty sure it's the green uh, terror now. Tamo just aligns the collar with the way you had it. Exactly. I'm just book. thank yeah. you. <laughs> what if Sputnik was just a conspiracy theory? What if Sputnik <laughs> was a distraction? So are we used to this kind of talk from Mick? Like, has yeah. Mick always been <laughs> yes, this yeah. way? Um, I'm, I'm just typically curious. super quiet, but I'm super stoked about what's okay. going on with these okay, movies. Okay, so it is unusual. I feel like I'm, okay, I just wanted to it's, see. It's a new level of a new level of, of energy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Otherwise, I'm usually like. Fuck it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Got it. Um, I just was curious. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just hyped right now because of these movies and because I'm pretty sure that I figured out <laughs> that this is a Russian conspiracy that has to do with the war. But maybe the war is not really the war, and maybe there's actually an alien here. Yeah. So <laughs> I just want to show everyone that I did research, and it was a good research. Yeah. <laughs> I did a good job. Yeah. I'm very good. Good for me. <laughs> Go, Kimberly. Go, Kimberly. Uh, uh, do we need a lead? Lead role to get everyone convinced. <laughs> also, about ooh, well, yeah, exactly. So it's yeah. all about. So basically, uh, in order to, in order to get that lead role, mm -hmm. we need to know what your plan is, what you want to do, and then you can have a lead. So Ginger thinks we should go look for the dog, because it's probably <laughs> loose. I mean, it was kind of your idea. <laughs> no, you were the one who brought it up. Oh. I was just presenting you with information. <laughs> You're the one who put it together. Right. Yeah, we should I feel like we're all talking as though I haven't seen the dog and know where the dog is, <laughs> and that we should be focusing on my dog. If we're like, if all we want to do is find a dog, I too would like to find a dog. I have a particular dog in mind. I don't. Betty, did you steal the Russian space dog? Steal is a strong word. Okay, great. Did you purloin? A dog adopted me as I adopted it as a friend, at which point it disappeared. I would like to have the dog back. It is called Andrew. Did you know about this? <laughs> Mick, did you know about this? About Andrew? About, yeah, or whatever. Well, you know, she seemed a little out Andrew. of it last night, and so we just went home. Um, we didn't really talk much. But, you know, if you know where Andrew is, I think this would be great footage for... The documentary. Okay, fine. You went back? Uh, no, this is. I haven't been back since uh, since I was dragged away. No, I mean to the loop. Did you go back to the loop? Oh no, no. This was under a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I meant to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we full on found a dog under a trailer. <laughs> Last night, and I just didn't know where to insert myself in your madness, so I just didn't. You could have just interrupted me. <laughs> I couldn't interrupt. I kept trying. Oh my god. Uh, look, this twerp, this twerp runs off quite frequently, so hey, this folk. isn't abnormal. Um, but I think maybe what we could do is go back to the trailer and try to find Andrew. Sure, if everyone, if that's what everyone else Right like now, in oh, broad daylight. There was this green what? light. <clears throat> Oh my god, Ginger, <laughs> this is all information you could have just presented me <laughs> instead of just, light. you know, just standing oh, there no. being a silent partner. Oh yeah, oh. it was very much a nuclear dog, if that's relevant. <laughs> it was a nuclear dog? What? That, was, that is how I interpreted it, certainly. <laughs> okay, rewind. <laughs> we mean green light. Well, we went to this trailer. Have you ever listened to the radio show, The, the Mailman? Yeah, I mean... He's a personality in this town. Apparently, in the in the trailer park uh, that me and what, I'm so sorry, I forgot what it was called. The trailer park. Um, oh, oh, the Haciendas. Yeah. <laughs> the Haciendas. Um, we actually 
the, the man that does that radio show lives in our trailer park. Like we can hear him yelling, doing the radio. That's where he's stuff. based out of. I mean, apparently I mean, we just kind that, of. That's not as big. That wasn't as big of a surprise to me as it was to you that that gentleman <laughs> lived in. So the we decided month. to go and look into it. And we were going to sneak into his trailer because, I mean, you do, I I guess. Mean, it looks cool, right? Like, really cool. And uh, and we, like, and then Betty was going to go under the trailer to kind of get in. And then Betty... There I, was a nuclear dog and named then, Andrew and several others who I have not yet named. How do we know it's not just his dog? I the mean, if he's crazy. The screen light came from under the trailer. Okay. When Betty was under there, it was very, very bright. bright. How many times do I have to tell you to not go in strange places? I am telling mom and dad when we get home. I, I don't know why you thought it would sink in this time. <laughs> it would be my counter question. Wait, <laughs> oh, wait, guys. Lock you up. I am on. fundamentally... In the room. Shush! <laughs> wait a minute. If this, is this guy actually a mailman? No, I mean, no, he just doesn't want to be shit known by the government. I I don't think he is. Well, okay, so assuming he is, we could go right now and we could totally dig through his stuff. You're going to be so Because he's going to be at work all day. You're going to be talking about being a mailman. Oh, no, how will I ever get out? He's got free time. I don't. Um, I'm not home during the day, so I don't know if he no. ever leaves his Yeah, he's trailer. got, listen, <laughs> but, yeah. this is the only way to see you Yeah. Okay. We have to go now. We got to skip school. All I'm thinking is... Yeah, I'm all about skipping school. In, <laughs> out, bish, bash, bosh. Get Andrew, who this time will not disappear because Wait. we've reached an understanding. And then I don't really care what the rest of you do. I will have a nuclear dog. Great plan. If my mom and dad find out that I'm skipping school, I'll get in trouble. So my thought here is let's write notes and forge our parents' signatures. To, uh, sure. Honestly, yes, sure. Okay, just, I've got the best handwriting here. I'll just, come on, let's let's get something. Let's dig it. So, uh, (laughs) Tom was a little wary about (laughs) his status in the community and breaking (laughs) into people's uh, trailers, so he's not completely down with... <laughs> so you can be a lookout. Regarding. So, yeah, you can be our lookout. You, you don't have you to know. touch anything. <laughs> uh, I, I, the look will rob it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your fingerprints won't be on. It's fine. My dad knows the DA. Uh, it's not going to go. Okay. Uh, he enjoys coming to the AV club and doesn't want anything to, just to uh, prevent that from happening. Uh, so... You're not I'll, down? I'll need some convincing. Um, <laughs> I got charm. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to charm this, this shit up. <clears throat> I think you uh, would be more motivated to charm All right, so this is yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, do seven, I do, would eight. Would I do a counter roll? Yes. Would it be... What would that counter roll be? Um, no whammies. Uh, here, for, so first, let's let's, okay. let's see what the target is. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> three oh, successes. Shit. Okay. Okay, so three successes. Mm-hmm. So I would say that um, you want to have... You would you would want to comprehend. Okay, uh, then I have a two roll. Mm-hmm. I'll comprehend, which can't succeed three times. No, but it matters. Mm. Okay, because the other two effects are bonuses, mm-hmm. right? Uh, that's a success and and not success. <clears throat> All right. So what you have earned is a compromise here. Mm-hmm. What can you offer, Temo? To make him feel better about this, so you got what you wanted, but what's the what's the carrot? Well, how do you how do you soften it? Uh, what protection can you give him? Because he's clearly worried about it. In your mind, this is the first of many yeah. opportunities to convince me to, yes. <laughs> of things it's later. It's true. It's true. <laughs> um, Start building that rapport, <laughs> Temo. So, first of all, you don't actually have to touch anything. You can literally just stand at the edge and alert us of any action. But but this is where I live. That's exactly it. You are, <laughs> you know, blend you blend in. No one would, would think that it's weird that you're there. You're always there. Can so I why not? Pull you aside. Yeah. And I'm going to say, okay, I have an idea. <laughs> okay, why? So, you know, every, we'll come back to this. every <laughs> prolific filmmaker has an assistant director. 
Yes. And uh, I currently need my James H. Brown the Third. Okay. Um, I well, am that Hitchcock. Is how bad. That's James H. Brown the Third. Great. Um, oh, so good. And, so I'm Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, well, you, know, you are the star. I'm Alfred okay. Hitchcock. I and choose Grace We help. need someone to help you become this star. Wonderful. Uh, I like it. What so the hell does it mean? Why don't we offer Tamo to be our assistant director? To make this project come it's the same fruition. thing as a lookout, right? It's <laughs> like he's our he's our guru. Uh, he just has to be with you know behind the scenes. He's making the magic happen. <laughs> so he's spiritual. Uh, I'm really confused. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't do you have want to be in the mix? Just back. That's watching. exactly what I think we are in violent agreement here. <laughs> yes. You want to hold the camera? <laughs> whoa, 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 right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, do you want to help Mick with the camera? <laughs> right? That's what you like. You like fixing stuff. He was already willing to go along when <laughs> but the, you, but the revelation fun. about, you know, he lives there, he yeah. wouldn't be out of yeah, place. Yeah. That was enough. All right, but perfect. That, but the, the, the author of the camera. <laughs> The extra mile was certainly entertaining. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So you have, you have uh, taken advantage of uh, the AV club. Typically, when you meet at the AV club, it is itself after school, mm -hmm. and so you don't have to worry too yeah. much about the rest of this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in terms of doing notes. We can save the note falsification <laughs> for another movie. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so here's how it goes. It is it is now after school. You have all agreed to go to the happy haciendas. Uh, some of you going home, some of you to help a friend, but all of you um, focused 100%, at least in Betty Swalks' mind, on the acquisition of a magical space dock. Now, um, so as you, <clears throat> as you are rolling back in, um, uh, as, you, as your bike sort of crests the top part of the hill uh, that rolls down into the flat, low area, um, like a... Like a, just a garden of trailers, um, you pass three black vans that are parked at the mm -hmm. head office of this place. So you, this is going to be so dope. So you're catching this it's on the on the <laughs> one hand. No, no, on no. The bike. she has both as the. <laughs> Director's assistant. Yeah. I'm holding her handlebars while yes. she's. Oh my yes. God. <laughs> so you're so you're catching this. You're catching this uh, this shot, this long shot of the three, and then you see a few people get out uh, and go into the front. You see others just stand out and then take a position by the door, and occasionally they seem to speak into their collars. They just turn their heads over and and, and you can see their mouth move. Um, but uh, it's it's after AV Club. Uh, we're now moving into uh, the, the sky is beginning to darken. Uh, you've you've made your plans. How are you going to uh, create a situation of safety and extraction for today's magical dogs? So the first thing I want to do is. Uh, Tell Ginger to switch jackets with me so I blend in. There we go. But then I would be wearing, what do you mean switch jackets? Why would I wear your jacket? Oh, you, just, have, you have like a I don't shiny... Look like, I don't look like I'm, I don't look like I would live here. I, I need... Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Listen, I say as I'm taking off like my 72 pieces of jewelry, just being like, I just don't think. Phantom popcorn. It, <laughs> I just don't think that um, my vibe really matches the environment. And um, we were talking about blending in, and I realized. You don't look poor. <laughs> You don't look like you're covered in shit. Like else I never ever there. said shit. No, now, no. But I will agree. I don't look poor. Now look, if the acquisite, if we're in a situation where it would be useful for someone to have clothes similar to the ones Ginger wears, in the same size that Ginger wears, I may have good news. <laughs> Betty now Jones. I am thinking. I only have so many clothes. You can't <laughs> now I have. Them. Now I have. I am replete with luck. 
Would it be? <laughs> would I be able to, to to use some luck to have happened to have already stolen some of Ginger's stuff that would be suitable? Here, I, I steal want, stuff all the time. Just do it. Just give me a sneak so, roll. Are you still wearing the shirt that I gave you? Yeah. Yes. So yeah. you are already incognito. Yeah. 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 I, I just want to. <laughs> but you just yeah. have so many more. Kajit has wears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have. It's not technically. This is not the first yeah. time I've stolen. It isn't technically how it functions. Okay. But remove a point of luck. Okay. And uh, and do a sneak. Do a sneak roll, and then we'll determine. We'll use those uh, those successes or or to lack see thereof. How bad Ginger yeah. is angered. <laughs> how many people can um, she be enraged? <laughs> I have a success. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. Whew. So, uh, no large garments, um, but there is a bangle. That you have been missing for weeks. <laughs> weeks. Weeks. I have so few pieces of jewelry, <coughs> too, so it was well, now you have very important more. to me. If you think about it. Mm, that's All not right. how that works. <laughs> now, so here's what we need. In in this game, uh, you'll see this, you'll see this uh, the more we play. Uh, what I need from you is I need a plan. Okay. Okay? I need a plan. Each of you uses a skill, so build your heist, your dog heist, right here. Build your dog heist, and then uh, we are going to narratively go through everybody doing their part of this plan. And if you achieve the correct amount of successes, this movie will end the way you want. Okay, I love this. It might. This might end up being your Empire Strikes Back. So I. I definitely <coughs> feel like sneaking yes. is going to be part of my thing mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. I already know I have a way in. If we can get to the trailer, I can get underneath, get Andrew, and get out pretty quietly. I'm confident in that. You can you can do the sneaking bit. I can do the transportation bit. I can mm-hmm. move very quickly. Um, so, so you gonna I'd like, like to be in charge me? of the extraction <laughs> of <clears throat> the pet. Are we going to? Ex- I can so, be the yeah. distraction because I plan yeah. on just having either a survey or trying to be selling <clears throat> cookies to this guy. So, exactly, exactly. So can I get a contact roll uh, from you? Oh, yeah, Kick Resort. Uh, so that's a five. Uh, <clears throat> while the fields, uh, when there's inclement weather, weather I can't work the fields, so I come into town and do odd jobs with the foreman um, so that, that I have exactly the right job to has uh, can have. gives me a little bit more knowledge about the various people in the community because of the people that I work for yeah uh, you're the so insider do, outsider yeah um, so I got five dice mm-hmm. uh, heart is four contact is one it is no successes. no successes. Now we you, have, you have luck. we have luck. We have push. Okay. So luck is an expenditure of a point to reroll a die. Um, it doesn't seem very likely though. Push. <laughs> yeah. Push will let you reroll all die, <coughs> all failed die. Mm-hmm. Um, what's a what's a push in the rules? I'll, 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 okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you. <clears throat> but you have to take a condition. Mm. Ah. Um, so in this game, a condition are the things that young people suffer from: uh, upset, so, scared, exhausted, I'm, injured. I, w- I was con- I was convinced to do this caper, mm-hmm. but I still there's some latent anxiety yeah, so, about it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fear, now. fear or anger. <laughs> yeah, right? um, <clears throat> now, what is your pride? Uh, my pride is uh, uh, general work ethic. Like uh, I'm having. To uh, pick up the slack where my dad couldn't. Exactly. So. Now your pride can grant mm-hmm. you a free success, mm. and mm. this is def- because we're talking about contacts and you coming in mm-hmm. and it being about what you know. Yeah. A pride would grant you a success in this, and it would okay. be fine. Um, you only use it once per game, but okay. So that's it's similar to this is the a time. Kinda, okay. Yeah. Uh, then I will use a pride. <clears throat> this is the time. Um, there are a few lucky days where um, there's like a. Adventure sports. Uh, there's like an adventure sports uh, business, pretty low scale, mm-hmm. but they have um, dirt bikes 
quads, and it is not far from <clears throat> Happy Haciendas at all. Okay, um, you've you had to you've you've been there with the foreman mm-hmm. uh, doing uh, maintenance. Yeah. Uh, on these, mm-hmm. something to consider. Okay, so that would that would give me access to a vehicle. Some vehicles. Yes, okay. exactly. <clears throat> because there are multiple dogs. Yeah. I am mainly interested in Andrew, who I'm certain will recognize me. Okay. But there were a whole data. <clears throat> so you're going to handle the vehicular okay. aspect. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is everybody else putting in the pot? I um, would like to, um, if possible, get some walkie-talkies and <clears throat> give them to everyone and be kind of the lookout. Walkie-talkies. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's available. No, no, no. Possible. It's um, It is not crazy. Um, where will you get them? My trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah from home? From, from my home, which is <clears throat> very close by. And then I, um, because I live in this neighborhood and because I love it, I know it in and out. So I would like to sort of be able to be hideout and like kind of watch it over and maybe use either contact. Um, something like that where I can like sort of, I know people's rhythms, I know what people are doing. That's really cool. Also just like keeping an eye on the You can map on routes too. Yeah. yeah, I think that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, definitely like a in and out of the of the yeah. place, like best escapes. Yes, exactly, like All right. drop map. <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, what do you got, Kimberly? Uh, well, overall, uh, my goal is to just be the distraction and Oh, if, so you're gonna go right to the front office? Uh, yeah, no, the first thing I'm gonna do once I reach, um, once we reach the mailman's place is actually, I'm gonna go door to door and happen to have my route hit the mailman's and try to be selling him magazine subscriptions for my cheerleading squad. <laughs> yeah, um, or Real something. hatred just flashed in Dora's eyes. <laughs> like, yeah. Out of character hatred. <laughs> well see, it's actually a stretch because I'm not a cheerleader, I'm in the glee club. Yeah. Um, but I don't want anything to come back to them. So I figure <laughs> I've got all these left over. Um, gotcha, so you, you're gonna be running the distraction up above. Oh yeah. On the mailman. Oh yeah, then I, I have to hit a couple first, so it just looks yeah, natural. Nice. But yeah, uh, the goal is to keep them occupied. Betty, you're you're seizing, yeah, dogs. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be in a in a dog seizing thing, but I, I imagine I'll be doing them like t- two at a time. Yeah, uh, and just da, 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 into the thing, da, 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 into the thing, <clears throat> and then I'm going to coax. I'm I'm going to be trying to coax the 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 mama dog. To come out too, there because I think we need her so that Andrew doesn't disappear again. I don't want him to get spooked. Yeah, exactly. Very nice, um, Mick. So um, we have agents yes. currently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm very excited. <laughs> Tell me what you got. So we, we have agents currently in the park right oh, now. Oh yes. Um, so no one. I'm going to keep a, a lookout on them. Um, and how many ATVs or? Vehicles uh, are you going to be grabbing? One, just the one? It'd be very difficult for me to grab multiple. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're running around. Yeah. Other, yeah. Yeah. You, other, you can, you can um, just like any heist movie, you can set this up ahead of time. Right? So you, you, can, you can go, you can walk over there. I mean, it's, it's getting, they're not doing that at night. I think that... You can use that contact and get the stuff in place. I, th- I think we would have to split the party because it seems mm-hmm. you can't just line up four ATVs no. <laughs> anywhere without being conspicuous. Yeah. 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 Um, Dora's place, uh, Dora, I'm sorry, Snap's place. Yeah. <laughs> Father has no idea what's going on. No, uh, zero. That might be a place. Just go like a tarp. To hide out once the job is done. Um, is that how you explain it? You say, Snap, your father doesn't love you, so he won't <laughs> notice anything weird. <laughs> What if we go to the quarry? <laughs> the quarry? Yeah. <laughs> what if What if we meet at the quarry after? Yeah. You just want to do a quarry because it's been in a film. Yeah, that's well, that's where I go to film all the time. That's where I can be found. I mean, if you know all the sneaky little so spots. If we can meet at the quarry, yeah. After yeah, it's um, out by the old crick. Yeah, you take uh, you take Betty, mm-hmm. um, and probably um, um, Kim. Kimberly, um, and probably Kimberly, and you guys can go on the, eight, the you know whatever ATV vehicle that you grab, yeah. and then we can follow on bikes, and um, and I can keep an eye out on the agents and act as though I am the amateur filmmaker <laughs> that I am. Yeah. All right. Are they going to smash your camera as like a first resort? Is it, <laughs> is it possible in a tabletop moment to take a short bathroom break? 
Like we are almost done. Okay. Yeah. We are almost done. But but Adds yeah, I'm losing it. <laughs> well, it's gonna be okay. Do, right. Keep keep the potty inside. All right. <laughs> All right. So, Temo uh, uh, has secured the vehicles. Mm-hmm. Who goes next? Uh, who is who initiates their portion of the plan? I well, my portion is just I I just go in right. I just. Exactly. So in order for you to sneak, yeah. the distraction must occur. Yeah, that's true. Right. And plus you've already you've got dispatch and so we've all got our little yeah. walkies. I wouldn't have a walkie though, would I? Because then it no, could go. No, I think only certain people have walkies. Yeah, so I don't have a walkie. So I just get signaled by you to approach. And so I've already done exactly. my, and my second house it's was just like yours. from the window, like right. from the window like Yeah, my second house was yeah. yours, so I finish the conversation <laughs> with you and then I leave. Right. Uh, but it's like so, all coded like you go to the door and yeah. the whole conversation you have is like all um, Peculiar, illusory. like, these thieves can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so then I, I stride over and I... Charm. I primly knock on the door and uh, prepare to see who is there with Charm. Um, is is he home? Is the mailman I home? I don't know. All right, well, let's... Better knock. I had better knock. Better Am I rolling to knock? To activate the Charm device. All righty, cool. Fun, fun, fun. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. Let's take all these beautiful dice. All these lovely dice, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! You got two? Two success. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. good. That's very nice. <clears throat> so you you, you uh, go up the sort of wobbling, mm-hmm. raised stair. Uh, big, like, like, tell me about the knock. Okay. Um, you think it may be a completely clean operation. Mm-hmm. Uh, the pause between the knock and the door opening is too long, mm-hmm. um, but the door uh, opens too quickly. Oh. Like in a Star Wars movie. Like, just, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, hello! You from the government? No, sir, I'm Red from... Chinese. <laughs> sir, uh, we're French Scotch in my family. Um, I'm from Salk Middle School, and um, it's uh, I'm from the Cheer Squad, and we just uh, we're selling uh, magazine subscriptions as part of our well, magazine fundraiser. Oh, anyone you want, sir. We've got a whole list of them here. I've got all this literature. You got um, any magazines about guns? Well, let's look over it together. Um, let's just see. Uh, we have okay, field two and successes. Street. We're yes. good. <laughs> so this continues on. Yeah. The camera moves down I underneath. I would watch that. <laughs> <laughs> the camera moves down underneath. Give me the force roll, because you're trying to scoop up. You're literally trying to scoop, scoop up pups. Okay, so that's uh. Scoopity poop. Yeah, that's eight. just in case. Scoopity whoop. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. Six, and eight pups. Eight dice is just what I roll. That's yeah. my number. <laughs> I have Ooh. two successes. I have two successes. Yeah. Marvelous. Nice. Okay. So you are scooping them out. Uh, Temo, you are at the other side, mm-hmm. uh, through the lattice on the other side, and a tiny hand is just handing you a sequence of pups. <laughs> now luckily these quads, <coughs> these are like adventure quads. Uh, yeah, my quads are very powerful. This is like something something uh, possible. Yeah. Uh, do, change of that. Do, do, so do, this do, is, uh, these ATVs are typical vehicles uh, used uh, for utility on a farm. So. That's where I got this ATV okay, another, from, another. and there's you know <clears throat> a hole uh, on the back of this ATV. It's there's a the setup mini, with a basket. It's got oh. the mini basket. Uh, yeah, for transporting. Okay, so puppies. Fruit. It's yeah. it's like it is basket it is the puppies. most it is the world's most adorable uh, baton race. Yeah, mm-hmm. just <laughs> soft pup yes. after soft pup <laughs> after oh, soft no. pup, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, Leica herself is quite weak, but you're able to coax her up. Yeah. Okay. And then rest her in this in the basket. We have mm-hmm. two total. Yeah, Just rest her in the mm-hmm. other basket with a pup or two. Mm-hmm. There's a few mules and yips over here, but you now have two pupful vehicles. Oh no! <clears throat> All right, now so cute. We need. Um, I want you to do a comprehend roll. Okay, okay. so that would be this one's mind mm-hmm. uh, six. Uh, one. Success. You... It occurs to you very quickly that, like, while you've managed the rest of this, like, you're basically like the eight, like, like the air traffic controller right. for the world's most adorable heist, right? <laughs> right. 
you think back to that necklace and you worry about it. Like the necklace has, the, like the, uh, the, the collar yeah. that she has, has not been incorporated in the plan at all. So halfway through this process, you're like, what is that? How do you tell them your fear about this X factor in the plan? Um, do I remember who, who has, has it? A, you never, you never claimed who had the other walkie talkie. It's gonna, like, it's gonna be somebody in this team, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I would say it was probably like a pack of three. So um, I, I probably have say, one just to yeah. coordinate the getaway. Yeah, I probably have one for the then, agents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So you come over. <clears throat> so I come over and I say, oh, but there was a collar as well, right? Like we were that we found at the actual loop. Oh, not the loop. The, the, this, I'm talking about the glowing green the glowing collar. Green collar that was on the actual dog. Yeah. And we're talking over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there a, a, a glowing collar that c- could be nuclear on these dogs? Um, so you're there. So you're mm-hmm. watching this like one hand. You see you're watching these pups come out from underneath. <clears throat> and so you're catching this. And then when Laika comes out in his set, mm-hmm. very clear, like heavy massive collar that has a ring of green lights around it. And you can see for the first time on the back, it has what looks to be a numerical readout. I'm just letting you know. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Is it counting down? Like, well, I think, no. I think it, it says, close. It says fi- it, it, right now it says like 575. Okay. And then the closer you get to the, the closer you get to the ATV, um, it loses two numbers, so it's 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 five seventy three by the time you get it to the ATV. All right. Okay. I say let's just get them back to the quarry, and we'll we'll compare the the letters on the collar to whatever other information that we have with these dogs. Uh, Over. Uh, yeah. As the numbers tick down, yeah. is there any additional information coming from the <laughs> collar? <laughs> uh, no, not no. yet. Okay. Not <laughs> yet. All right. So, are we ready to? Are we ready to? Yeah, one? I'd like to be up and talking to the agents. So exactly. I put my uh, my camera away and I go up to them on my bike. Yeah, yeah, and I'm kind of just standing there on my bike, and I'm like, um, "So, are you guys like from the movie um, where like you guys are actually spies and you're not supposed to be here, and uh, you're watching for th- suspicious activity, even though this is Spokane and nothing happens here?" <laughs> mm-hmm. Here, here. So hook up the charm. Okay. Oh God! <laughs> Whoops! Uh, yeah. Is that yeah. Uh, is that hard? That's hard. Hard, hard. hard yeah. plus Ooh, the buddy. actual charm. Oh. You still have, yes. Two. Remember, you got luck. You, you got, got luck. Yeah. Push. Two. I do a push. Oh! oh hey. One success. Nice. Wah, wah, wah. <clears throat> um. They they sort of look at each other like you can't see their eyes, and their mouths are just these just slits. Uh, and they they look over each other, and he opens up his jacket, and you can see the service pistol in it. Are you and trying to threaten me, sir? <laughs> Am I being detained? He's like, I'm a kid. I'm a, I'm a kid. I can call for help right now. No, no, just. My dad said keep that it down. I should ask you. <laughs> so you can hear voices being raised, yeah, like okay. from the entrance. It is time to go. Okay. All right. Now, what I need from you um, at this point. Is uh, this is I believe this is uh, Tinker. Okay, so uh, Tinker to operate this vehicle. Exactly. Um, any bonus for previously operating this vehicle in the fields? Any, I think I think, that, I think that that's worth one okay, die one from dice. your other that's, pride. I'll take it. So that's a six total. Now what's your Tinker? My t- mine. Uh, I got a Tech Three, oh, Tinker Two. I have uh, I have Tech One, no Tinker. Okay, cool. The personal question. Yeah. <laughs> it would be uh, quite a sight to see a 10 year old. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But luckily, 10 year olds have a lot of luck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, I didn't realize that I was also running an ATV. <laughs> <laughs> I just considered that for the first time. So am I rolling as well? Uh, uh, not oh, a single shoot. success. <laughs> Great. And you're the one who's good at this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Supposedly. So you can push. To re-roll your not successes. Um, I think it's yeah time to okay, push. but at the cost of a condition. Uh, so this is anger. Of, uh, this is um, I mean, they don't they don't have it as anger. They have right. it as upset. But 
Uh, it wouldn't be anger, it would be frustration. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Sort of. Is it it's literally like, that? Like, is the ATV not starting? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, exactly. That's how it should be in yeah. the movie, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But it's sort yeah. of like if somebody had just maintained this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm over the walkie, like, Timo, why aren't you moving? <laughs> Timo, you you got to get out of here. I chime in. Uh, please say over when you're done talking, so I know you're done. <laughs> you're just hearing this, and you're just like stomping <laughs> on it, trying to get it started. Over. Okay. You can feel me roll my eyes. Uh, oh, one success. Please, please. Oh. Okay. So you you gun it. Um, and peel out. So I only have one die. Yes. I have but one die to give for my country. That's okay. Yeah. That's uh, I would use a luck point and okay. re-roll your failed dice. You failure. <laughs> now, oh. also bad, what is your pride? Uh, my pride is my ability to steal. Okay, well, that doesn't apply here. Well, I mean, this so is, this so is, is, so you technically gun it. this is preventing him from completing Oh no, it's all right. Failure works different gotcha. in this game, so, because it's a, it's, a, it's a kid's movie, right? Mm-hmm. So you reach back, you dial it back mm-hmm. too far. Yeah. And so, out of nowhere, Oh so you're gunning God. it out. You've got you've got you know, Leica is like head up sort of behind, like looking past you. Um, Betty has gunned it and it's just a wheelie <laughs> all the way, like all the way through the trailer park. Holy and dude. the people who are talking to you yeah. are like, hey! <laughs> The people we were talking to, to uh, Mick are like, what's it? <laughs> and they pile into their vehicles. And so you you look back behind you and you can see that that number mm-hmm. on Leica's yeah. uh, collar mm-hmm. is steadily growing the faster you go. Growing yeah, or gr- depleting? Yeah, de- um, okay. no, it's Very growing. High. Okay. It's growing. Mm-hmm. And so what happens when you, and then as, as this fleet of black trucks, they get, the closer they get, mm-hmm. the lower that number gets. Okay. So <clears throat> it's tracking some kind of a, a mm-hmm. distance or range. Uh, now, okay. so we are at the we are at the end of this thing. How are you guys? How are we going to solve this problem? Right? Um, I, if I'm at a higher enough point, I could maybe be able to guide them to where they should go. That's like, where I pretty like dope, like spot. up a tree. Yeah, mm. <laughs> like you just clamber. And um, I would also like during this uh, scene that I'm going to put on my headphones and turn on my Walkman, and um, <laughs> oh I'm going to start playing Flash Gordon by Queen. Nice. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm like yelling over the walkie. The eagle has landed. I mean, you, wait, 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 I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> over? Have you climbed up like a water tower? Like, yeah, like, exactly. Tower? Yeah, like yeah. A cool, a cool water cars. tower or uh, an antenna line. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so give me a force. Uh, let's let's try a force body real quick. Uh, force body. So you have three dice. I'll scoot this over. One. That's a success. Nice. So <laughs> you good. scale this thing, yes. and you're in there. You lock an elbow on the on the steel part of the ladder, mm-hmm. um, and you are just calling it out. So you can see them. You can see the black trucks uh, driving. You can see that they're trying to uh, counter them. Right. And like they're tr- basically trying to box them in from the left. So now you have this information. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are we going to do to get the fuck out of this place? And well, the I mean, parts? they they these are uh, what what are, what kind of vehicle are they driving? These are exactly? like Escalades. Okay, so all terrain is something that is possible. It, it, it's with, it's possible. Okay, it's possible. But you have a moment here mm-hmm. to change the direction of this thing. Um, I'm just well, following you, right? I don't have a well, word talking to change yeah. the plan. <laughs> Has the, yeah, man, has the um, mailman at all noticed any of this? Or is he still no, no, no. He has he has talked about the cult peacemaker for uh, for coming up on fifteen minutes. <laughs> oh my, I love it. Okay, but I mean, I'm literally I, like feet away from him. I know everyone's <laughs> gone. Everyone's gone by this point. Dude, the government is there. It's th- they're there. He has the government no. conspiracy is driving straight by him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To snatch and some he's children. Just so focused. So oh. I've noticed this, but I want to make sure that he's like let down easy in a way. And so I'm just like, wow, you know what? That's incredible. Um. You know what? You qualify for a free subscription to Field and Stream, and you don't even have to pay now. I'm just gonna figure this out. Thank you so much. You are actually my 100th visit. Um, he's like, he's like, it changed it. Cold Beast Maker changed the whisk. 
It's a, <laughs> it's a <laughs> place for a cold peacemaker. I'm like, but not as much as a 1911, right? <laughs> and then like, yeah. And so then I'm just like, all right, cool. Ta-ta, I'll leave for practice. And I just like, I literally just like whip a tarp off and then get on the uh, ATV beneath and zoom. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right, here. So tell me, tell me about this. Do you have this moment in time here? Uh, where... What sort so of you, are we exactly? On so right now so. you are on the road paths between. You're riding through happy haciendas right now. Oh, okay. There's multiple rows of roads okay. around, and um, right now they are currently trying to flank you on the left um, and contain you. So if they're if they're flanking us, um, is there any possibility of? Um, hiding. Like, are we that far ahead? Are we? Are they too close? Um, how much distance do we have on them? Um, uh, right, right now, you <laughs> have enough time to make a, make a a tactical driving decision. Okay. Um, how close? Are Informed we to the, by the yeah. incredible snap. How close are we to the exit of? There's uh, going to be an exit out here that goes into some dirt roads. Mm-hmm. But the type of vehicle you have, you can go. You can make a road where there isn't one, yeah. Necessarily, um, that seems like the obvious choice. Uh, uh, Maybe just cut out right, yeah, through uh, the last into the brush. Exactly. Or like, um, is there a gate um, at the at the entrance of this park? Yeah, up at the main front entrance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna ride there and shut the gate. Um, <laughs> so after we get through. After, yeah. after you, I'm gonna wait there <laughs> nice. until you guys get through, and I'm gonna have it shut. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's. Uh, Get out of the park, yes, and uh, get into dense terrain. All right, uh, give me that max. Advantage. Give me that Tinker Max. Um, <clears throat> five dice, uh, and I'm going to say let's throw a dice in there because you live here and you know what it looks like. Mm-hmm. And you got you got great juice here. Actually, add two dice. Yeah, mm-hmm. here, dice. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, that's oh. a single success. <laughs> Which I thought you had known that for a second. I, I, yeah. too, I was like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> like the government obliterates you. <laughs> <laughs> so out of nowhere, uh, Temo just jerks it hard right and goes between two trailers through a low fence of, of, uh, of dry wood nice. and then straight out into the field uh, toward the quarry itself. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you react to this? Um, I would... Uh, I would certainly swear. <laughs> um, I think I would try and duplicate. <laughs> I would try and follow the path because I have no idea what else I'm going to do. No, actually, wait, wait, wait. No, I go in a different direction to try and split the pursuers. But I don't really know the area. No. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just picking one. <laughs> All right, here. So in that, I think we're... I think let's do a charm for that. Okay. Because you're, you're trying to trick. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also I know even if they catch me, it's, I don't know, ten years old. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> you don't even live here. What are they going to do? Um, so charm is hard. I have three dice, but I have nothing for the skill because Betty has a lot of charm. <laughs> she has a lot of heart, but doesn't know how to use it. Once again, nice. Once again. Hey. Hey. nice. <laughs> All right. So you. So he pulls hard right. Goes out toward the quarry where you've described is the correct uh, place, maybe that you can set up mm-hmm. something for these friendly beasts. Uh, you continue straight. There is, uh, they are trying to cinch the loop here. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but they, they've made a miscalculation. Uh, one <clears throat> takes a right and then tries to box out the next row over. Another black. Uh, another black truck is pulling up behind them. You shoot directly through the middle nice. of the two trucks, um, so and then escape um, escape out the back. Uh, they are in the manner of adults. Am I right? Yeah, wrong. Thoroughly food. discombobulated yeah. by this, they spend the rest of this time sort of driving in circles. Uh, one of them gets T-boned. Oh. <laughs> It's a complete nightmare. Aww, it and dies. Cars kiss the Keystone hops action. Yeah. Later, uh, uh, after after this has been resolved, 
someone who is clearly a very, very different rank from the people in the trucks comes and yells at them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone gathers around to watch them get dressed down. That <laughs> night, you meet at the quarry. What do you bring with you? Well, I bring with me um, uh, my my puppies. Did I have Lyca or did you? You have Lyca. Yeah, I have Lyca. I just have, I have puppies, one of which is presumably Andrew. <laughs> But you secretly don't have any idea. You don't really know. You don't really know. But, but when I pick one, I'm, I am absolutely certain that it's Andrew. <laughs> so I bring my, I bring my puppies. I bring. I don't think I had time to steal anything else. <laughs> so what do you, what do you, what kind of a home do you set up for these friends? Well, here in the quarry. Um, we'll bring bring blankets yeah. and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, any like meat that I had in the fridge, I just took. Nice leftovers. Yeah, leftovers yeah. and like <laughs> meatloaf. Meatloaf yeah. for sure. Meatloaf. Right. I don't, I don't think I'd necessarily... Some like TV dinners that I thought out. <laughs> trying to keep the top. <laughs> I don't think I'd necessarily made it clear how you're many still puppies frozen. I was going to be bringing. Yeah, you're still oh yeah. Frozen. Yeah. Exactly. Um, also, like bowls for water, probably. Um, and then uh, I just bring like a pack of of items. Like I have a map. Um, I have rope. It's like a little adventurer's pack. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, have. that you always you're always ready because you know you never know what you're gonna need to shoot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. We have set up a decent home. We have fed. We have snacked. Now it is time for our vignettes leading out of the game. We need a moment in the life, people. A I moment think. in the life. Things are resolving. They're going back to normal. You still have a math test on Monday. I feel um, like I I I take Andrew as I perceive him. And I'm like, this is great. This is my my new thing that I have stolen. Well done, me. What a prize. I will take you home. And I begin to walk away and Andrew begins to just whine a little bit and look back at Laika, (laughs) who looks up at me like, dude. And I look at Andrew and I say, I will come back and see you tomorrow. And then just go and <laughs> give them back. Amazing. All sweet. right. Uh, Kimberly, Snap, Temo, uh, Mick. I kind of like there it, to be it, a it, moment. It, it doesn't have to be in the cave. No. Yeah. Or the quarry. No, this is, we're just, remember, we're just resolving back to the credits. Yeah. Okay. So these are just cool moments. Like, okay. what's changed? What's the same? I kind of like there to be a moment. Are you going to edit some footage? Like, that, that would be a good. Yeah. I'd like there to be a moment where, like, we're all walking away. Like, you can see our backs. And we all kind of. Um, split off to go to our homes, so we all take different roads, kind yeah. of sort of thing, and we're walking next to our, some of our bikes. Um, and then uh, my scene is that I go back and I start looking through the the footage, um, and I I start obviously taking notes of time codes, um, and uh, I have Queen on in the background, and uh, I'm, I'm laying there just basically, um, um, I guess decompressing after the long day. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Temo, Snap, Ken? Um, I think that it would be um, me at home. Oh, or, or it could be at practice. Or, well... It's up to you. I, if you, if you want to noodle on that, yeah, I, have, I have a little something. Um, so there's me going out and doing some retail therapy, and it looks like I'm just going to go <laughs> doll myself up. And, you know, enjoying the mall in its purest form. Oh, but yeah. you're seeing me, like, at a record store, and you're seeing me at a couple of other things that don't really seem like, like, okay, whatever. She's probably going to get Cindy Lop or whatever. And then you see me walking away from, like, ding and ditching. Mm-hmm. And then Ginger opens the door, and it's just a shit ton of material goods <laughs> related to what I perceive as her interests, because <laughs> I am doing the thing. I'm trying to make up for my weird oh, you're doing what you're, you're doing what your parents do. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm you, doing what I've been taught, which is, which is buy people's love, because I don't know how to express it on my own. And so there's like clothes, and it's literally just all the bags that I was carrying out of the <laughs> mall. And then I'm just like, uh, you know, trying to I, bike away real fast. And, and I'm just like pot, like. Yeah, and you're just like, mm. <laughs> uh, okay. And that's just that's just me. And also, I go back, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not here. <laughs> but like, yeah. And then I go back to to read some more Russian literature. Ooh. I crack open Anna Karenina. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think um, mine would be at um, practice, and Harvey's asking me about how my first week back was. <laughs> nice. Did you fix that E string? Huh? Did you fix the E string? Yeah. <laughs> I, I fixed. Well, I I didn't have. It was, a busy week. it was a long week. <laughs> she prefers okay. drop D, so it's like <laughs> fine. Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe you should fix it. I just don't have time for these things anymore. 
and um, I would imagine he he would um, ask me about yeah um, like what I'm spending my time with, and I'm like, I found a new friend, <laughs> and then it just like cuts out. There. Dude, that kicks ass. Um, at the very <laughs> end, uh, once you that. have oh, you. once uh, <laughs> Betty's tireless energy uh-huh. has finally been consumed by the universe. Oh, this is actually the secret ending. So if you wait through the credits, <gasps> yes. Uh-huh. If you wait through the credits and get all the way to the end, uh, Betty Swalex is finally mercifully asleep, <laughs> <laughs> and then just under the blanket, there is a flash, almost like a static flash, and uh, underneath Betty's arm is a puppy. <laughs> So, well, before then, I got mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get it, get it. Yeah, so, uh, this is back at the quarry uh, yeah. just after the uh, excitement. Um, and uh, Temo's drive is actually to get back home to his siblings. So, he sees that drive reflected in Laika taking care of this litter. Oh, it's the same, um, same drive. And uh, he uh, reaches into his pocket and reapplies the collar to Laika. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Sweet. That's a really cool ending. I love it. Uh, no, it's two secret endings. Um, <laughs> I love it. Club PA, uh, thank you so much uh, for being a part of the club. Thanks so much for uh, uh, spending this time with us this afternoon. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is the first, uh, this is just the first of the quarterly uh, AV Club movies uh, one can come to expect. Uh, thanks so much for rolling through, and we'll see you later. Yes.